visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. Ecuadorian environmental activists were harassed by the Ecuadorian police, and their bus was seized as they attempted to travel to the United Nations Climate Conference in Peru. Anna Romero, with the group, said they were stopped six times before the bus was finally taken. She believes the Ecuadorian government is trying to stop them from protesting plans for oil drilling in Yasuni, an Amazon Basin nature reserve. The group is now seeking donations to continue their journey to the climate conference. An officer with the Houston, Texas Police Department has been fired and charged with bribery and misuse of official information for giving tow truck drivers tips on illegally parked cars. Charles Russell, formerly of the HPD, was apparently informing two drivers about cars parked illegally in downtown Houston in exchange for free car repairs. Potential 2016 presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul is proposing a declaration of war against the Islamic State. The legislative effort has little chance of success, but could burnish the Kentucky Republican's effort to paint himself as a strict constitutionalist as he explores a White House bid. The stepfather of Michael Brown has apologized for angry comments that he made after the grand jury decided not to indict the police officer who killed his stepson, but says those comments had nothing to do with the fires and violent rioting that ravaged Ferguson and the surrounding area. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries. Homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To find out more details, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat. For Thursday, December 4th, 2014, I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. An hour spent volunteering at a local homeless shelter truly make her death at the hands of a drunk driver earlier this week. All the harder to take for this school and this community. I never knew Amanda, but everywhere I went, there were touching reminders of the caring friend she would have been to me had I known her. Losing Amanda was one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with, but I knew I had to be strong for this community. I couldn't let them go through the funeral without my support. <laughs> She's so much better than all of us. She was so much good. She cared about so many people. <laughs> she loved you so much. What's your name? She loved you, Russell. And we have O'Brady Shaw with us right now. Thanks, Brooke. Not quite how I would have reported the story. Seems a bit unprofessional to let yourself get so emotional. Well, when people are feeling pain, I feel it too. Don't you ever get emotionally invested in a story? No, I don't. You know, I had my tear ducts cauterized years ago, and I like to keep my emotions stored in a special place in my mind where they only come out for my night terrors. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. We'll take your calls about anything. You just dial on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. You can create the content there that you see on the front page of the website. You can you know, submit a news story or a blog post or YouTube video or whatever it is you want to share with us and our listeners and then other listeners will vote on it. They'll vote it up if they like, maybe vote it down if they don't. So go to freetalklive.com to get interactive. Ian and Mark in the studio with you as normal here tonight. And Mark, there was a story, I don't think, I don't know if we teased it on the air, but I know you told me about it off the air, about this uh, young man at a high school, apparently, who has been engaging in some level of preaching. He's, uh, I guess, considers himself a minister. I'm not sure of, uh, of what religion or church uh, but well, uh, I don't know if he considers himself a minister, but he certainly has. Uh, if you're preaching on the street, doesn't that make you a minister? Well, you'd have to ask him. Uh, okay. I, I don't know the you know the, the term minister doesn't come out in this article and mm. in his audio he doesn't say he's a minister. I would think that um, everybody who's if a you're Christian ministering, then... well, a minister means to serve. Gotcha. Um, a uh, but 
you know, everybody who's a who, who believes strongly in the Christian faith, and that would be the only Christians, I guess. I mean, if you don't believe strongly, then you're not really a Christian, right? I mean, that's kind of what the Bible says. He, uh, Jesus vomits out uh, people who are lukewarm. So, um, you're not familiar with that nope. verse? Nope. Okay. Well, um, I haven't read the whole Bible. Yeah. Well, I, you know, having read the whole Bible doesn't mean I've memorized everything. Gotcha. Certainly, uh, you know, there's parts that I've read and haven't read, and a lot of it's just boring. But in this guy's uh, case, I, mean, you know, I guess he's just doing what a Christian should do. He's causing some controversy, apparently, by doing what he's doing. So what's, what's going on? Where's this coming from? SeattlePI.com. An Everett High School student who claims he was wrongly suspended for loudly sharing his Christian faith has sued the school district, hmm. claiming his constitutional rights were violated. And, you know, that in and of itself is a kind of an interesting thing when you bring somebody, essentially force them in you know, when it comes to school, you're forced to go to some kind of school. That's correct. Now with homeschooling rules, you could basically say, I'm homeschooled and you don't have to go to school. But, uh, I mean. Depends on the state. There's different rules for homeschoolers. Some are more arduous than others. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't claim to know what, they, what those rules are um, in Seattle and uh, mm -hmm. the surrounding country. But it's I, I'm just saying that things aren't the, the the truant officer doesn't necessarily walk around grabbing kids like they did in Little Rascals, assuming that was historically accurate at any point. I don't know the answer to that. But um, you force somebody to you certainly force their parents. Anybody who owns property has to pay to uh, run run a school. Um, you don't have that choice on that. That's not like, oh, well, you know, we send our kid to a religious school, so we're not going to pay our property tax or we'd like a, a credit or whatever it is. They don't really do that. Mm -hmm. And so you can't claim that a school is not a monopoly. Uh, a, high, a, a government school is a monopoly. Sure. So you force the kids to go to school. You uh, force the parents to pay for public school force everybody to pay for public school. And then when they're there, the kids, exactly how does freedom of speech work? You can't run a classroom with freedom of speech because then right. Right, that's what we call talking out of turn. And so it's a kind of a difficult situation. Well, there is no freedom of speech on government school campuses. I mean, I that was told to me pretty crystal clear when I went to school. Well, this kid's been suspended three times hmm. for uh, – Passing out tracks and loudly oh, wow. preaching, um, Michael Leal proselytized to his classmates at Cascade High School and passed out a lengthy, this is what I get, an Everett High School student, and the Michael Leal proselytized at his classmates in Cascade High School. I don't know the specifics, but maybe Everett is the name of the county or something. So yeah, anyhow, maybe. passed out a lengthy, mass-produced religious track, so he's got his own uh, you know, ramblings that he's uh, typed out. To the apparent annoyance of school administrators, Leal was suspended three times after he refused to tone down his free-form sermons and stop handing out Bible verses. With the help of a National Christian's <laughs> Right organization, Leal filed a federal lawsuit Monday against the Everett, High, hmm. the Everett School District, his okay. uh, school principal and others. In it, he contends he was subjected to religious discrimination during the months-long fight with school and staff over his sermons and pamphleteering. So does that kind of give you the picture of what's going on here? A little bit. I mean, obviously, you know, I wasn't there when it was transpiring. Yeah, if how loud were, is loud? Right. If he were standing outside a classroom and class is going on and he's shouting and, you know, causing a disruption, then there's an argument there to say, hey, you know, this is not the appropriate venue for shouting. Um, Some know. of the claims of the students is that they're disturbed by the content, claiming that uh, military members uh, are, you know, not. It's not a good idea to be a military member. It's okay. uh, being being the and of course the ever the ever standby with uh, the religious, the gay and lesbians, um, you know, like so. There's groups that they don't feel are being, you know, it feels like discrimination or whatever. So that was one of the comments from the the students. Um, I didn't get the impression he's actually standing up during class. Unless sort of called on and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, but uh, you know, even even if you're standing in the hallway in the five minute break, just doing some kind of impromptu sermon, could they call that a, a disruption? I don't know. Um, just depends. well, they can call anything they want a disruption. Sure. I mean, anything that's outside of the t traditional school day purview, but. You know, I um, I find it disturbing that they would go after him for pamphleting. That's by its nature a quiet activity, and no one is forced to take a pamphlet from you. I think so. that that's an interesting one. Um, if he's written the pamphlet too, so you kind of it ask. Doesn't yourself, matter to me who wrote the pamphlet. But. I I kind of 
I can see why you might not allow somebody to pass out pamphlets that are from some other organization because then, mm -hmm. you know, then then you just find organizations trying to find high school students so that they can then have the high school students pamphleteered, right? Yeah, like these are young, impres that. young impressionable minds, <laughs> and uh, you know, this is when we want to catch them. So let's get them pamphleteered. Where can we find a high school student? And so then you have that situation. Whereas with if the high school student is writing the pamphlet, then you mm -hmm. have a different. Uh, Seems you know, more source. legit. Okay. I get it. Okay, I get where I, you're coming I'm from. I'm not supporting any of this. I think that this is a problem of the tragedy of the commons. I'm against public schools generally. I don't think people should be threatened at the uh, at the danger of having their homes steal, stolen well, from them. I agree them. with you there, but I mean, the public schools exist, and while they do exist, should free speech be an option there? Should it be something that uh, people, that young people are allowed to engage in on a government school campus? I don't think it's possible. I don't. I mean, what is free speech, and how does it? I mean, when you're in a when you're on you, when you're on government land, you should be mm -hmm. able to say what you want because you are paying for that government land. They sure, propose forced to be there. You're forced case. to be there. You're you're forced to pay for it, and so therefore you should have the right to speak on government land. However, we have class time for 50 minutes. You need mm -hmm. to sit down and shut up so other people uh, can learn. So you have this uh, these these two things that are at odds. I don't think you can have free speech in a school. That is the one of the reasons why I don't believe the government should be involved in schooling anyway. Mm. Add on top of that the fact that uh, the public schools generally are sort of created to, uh, you know, uh, subjugate one class over another. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the government schools essentially are there to kind of create a drone worker, a worker class person who is going to... You know, go to some job and then eventually Do what they're retire. Told. Sit down, and, shut up, raise your hand if you have to use the bathroom. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, Mark, you're not saying you oppose this guy's, you know, ability to speak and on this government property. You're saying you oppose the idea of the government schools, but the government schools are there. So while they are there, shouldn't there be some level of free speech allowed? I say yes, there absolutely should be. Um, and I think that the school is stepping into dangerous territory by telling this guy that he can't even pass out a pamphlet. Uh, again, I don't mind the idea of, hey, you know, you can't shout Bible tracts or shout anything while you're, you know, the class is in session. But if he's on his break, if he's at his lunchtime, for instance, and if he wants to stand out and, you know, if he wants to have a group of people have a Bible study or something at his lunch table, or he wants to stand outside of the, the uh, you know, in a field and start Preaching aloud, who oh, cares? Who, that's where they're going to put him is out in a field because they're not going to want him in the uh, lunchroom where other people are trying to have a conversation and he's bellowing from the side of the room. Well, I don't know if you've ever been in a cafeteria before. They're fairly loud in If you allow him in the cafeteria, the, my cafeteria, he's liable to get things thrown at him. So that's a, another you know bit of strong peer pressure. So... I, I think this is a difficult situation for the school to deal with. I'm with you on the pamphleteering. If he wants to pan hand out pamphlets silently to people who are willing to take them, I don't see a particular problem with that. But I would love to get other people's opinions on this, because I think this is a difficult conundrum. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. I'm not sure what the conundrum is, though. If you've got comments, we'd love to hear from you. This is Free Talk Live's live Saturday show. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year, she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one, and personalization is included. But hurry, because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. 
Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can dial toll-free to bring up anything you want, 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Mark, you said there's a conundrum in this story about a young man in high school, government high school. I'm not sure where uh, the location was. But Seattle, near Seattle, Seattle. near Seattle, uh, who is in hot water over doing some school preaching. He has been speaking aloud, and we're not sure in what circumstance, presumably outside of class. Um, obviously, speaking aloud and preaching in a class would be pretty disruptive, but you know, is, is standing in the hallway and preaching, is that a disruptive activity? But you know, what was the conundrum that you were getting at? Is it the conundrum of should free speech be allowed at government school at all? I'm well, not, I think it's a continuum. So, you know, free speech is something that uh, th- it, that's difficult to talk about. You know, people always say the yelling uh, fire in a crowded theater. I don't really think that's a dilemma. That's private property. And you know, either theaters have rules against yelling fire or they don't. And um, obviously you're held responsible for your actions. So that's if you're held responsible for your actions, that's one thing. But in the case of sort of preaching, you're not really no one's going to stampede, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, you, I guess, should be able to preach all you want on your own property. And then vicariously, since the government represents everyone, and it represents you because you're certainly forced to pay for it, you should be able to speak on government property. Now, this is difficult. If you're talking about, a, you know, standing out, standing right in the mayor's doorway and uh, preaching to him about how he's going to go to hell without being removed by security, you're going to have a problem. Um, but, 
you know, there, I think that there's sort of different areas. Like there's usually these town commons and places where people can go and mm-hmm. holler at the, the, the top of their lungs to their heart's content during the daytime or whatever. And that's how we've kind of addressed it. But how, where and when in a school can you uh, preach? Because I would find it annoying as heck if somebody was preaching their version of their religion um, at school ad nauseum. You know, like, just leave me alone. I don't deserve to be subjected to you day in and day out. Uh, that would be my thought process. Mm. Now, I support a person's right to say it, but you're going to create a great deal of tension and animosity if you continue to do this preaching at the school. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. We'll go to you with your thoughts. But I want to tell you about what I think is a great opportunity to pick up some gifts for some young people uh, in your life. Mark, you and I have both listened to uh, – the. I, I don't know when it was released. It looks relatively new to me. In Freedom's Cause. Yeah, it's very new. Uh, in Freedom's Cause, it is uh, one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history. It's the story of William Wallace. It's like Braveheart. And Robert the Bruce, yeah. Uh, it's like Braveheart, only historically accurate. And it's audio theater, you know, theater of the mind. It's, it's something you don't really hear very often these days, and I think that's one of the reasons why it was so outstanding. Uh, they did a great job with the sound effects and the voice acting. In fact, some of the actors they used are pretty big names. Uh, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, and James Cosmo, who was also in Braveheart. Uh, go to infreedomscause.com. You can get a study guide, and it's got a crash course. Uh, it is a crash course in the struggle for freedom. Children in your life will love this. And for Free Talk Live listeners, that's you, you get a special offer. Use coupon code FTL and you get a family four pack of CDs for half price. So that's actually four copies of this full two and a half hour long, you know, cinematic quality audio product yeah. and th- what i think is it, so it's it's a great production and very entertaining and then if you want to use the study guide you can so mm-hmm. it's historically accurate in the sense that you will learn things but it, it's, it's kind of like braveheart which is great but it's actually accurate in freedomscause.com is the website the coupon code is ftl that's in freedomscause.com and that's half price so you can get four gifts for, you know, uh, relatively inexpensive, and this is good for all the kids in your life especially. Let's talk to Paul. He's in Myrtle Beach listening to WRNN. Hello, Paul. Hello, Mark. Hey, you're on the air. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to ask you about, well, first of all, I agree with you 100% on the public school about uh, teaching people to be drones, uh, no creativity, and when they finish with school, they've got no idea about how to make money. They're not ready for the real world at all. Oh, yeah. And they social, social promote people, and uh, they can't even spell their names when they get out, except the football, well, the football players are going to college, and then they can't spell their names when they get out of college. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but the, the, the only other thing I'd say, why don't they have a little forum area so that anybody wants to say anything, anybody cares to listen to them, they can have one room or something. They can just say what they want to in that room. I think Where it's a good idea. I don't like that idea. That's a free speech zone, and that bothers me. Well, at this point, there is no zone. <laughs> so, Well, the zone should be the entire school. Well, there should be free speech I think speech it's allowed. untenable. Well, well, it's a public school, so you ought to be able to say anything unless you're inciting a riot like they did. You know, like, God, anyway, I won't get into that. But anyway, you shouldn't incite a riot. That should be against the law. And some people have done this recently and didn't get arrested, so... But um, public is public, right? Yeah, I think um, the incitement to riot, I think, is a difficult uh, thing to quantify and that that terminology can be used against people who, uh, you know, are simply upset uh, about the way things are going in the government. I don't know uh, who we're talking about specifically, but there used to be, before I went to high school, there was a um, room called the smoking room. And kids would go there to sort of hang out and and do their thing. Smoke cigarettes? They smoke cigarettes, yeah. This is at high school? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It was a long time ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. (laughs) And so that would have been a different uh, situation. Maybe you could have, maybe people could have talked there. Yeah, but, but what, give me give me. You sound like a Republican if you don't give give me a uh, something to go to besides public schools. I mean, what what what's the alternative? You know, they always you know, Republicans always criticize them. Don't give any 
any uh, alternative. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's your alternative to public schools? That's what I, my, that's my real question. Oh, that's an easy answer. Well, I, I think that yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of private schools, and I think that that's what the marketplace would probably fill in with is different people wanting different schools. There's I personally, there's yeah. homeschooling. I personally, for my son, um, we've taken control of his uh, his learning because I'm really concerned with kids being you know the round pegs being pounded into square holes, and that concerns me. So I want to uh, f- design the education for my son that's best for him, l- go, taking taking from his lead. So we do something called, I call a parent-directed learning um, or family-directed learning, but other people are going to choose oh. other things. I think it really just comes down to it's a service. If I want to learn something today, I may go on the Internet and learn it for free, or I may pay for a course from the Internet, or I may to go to college and have somebody teach me and test me and all kinds of other things. And that's really well, all any kind of education is. For charter schools, public charter schools, is the answer, but try to get into one. Get, get your child into one. There's, there's in such demand. You, you have to, and in Charlotte, North Carolina, they have a lottery. Yep. If a child makes a lottery, he hits in. If he doesn't, that's too bad. Too know? bad. Well, again, a char- charter school is just another government school that's being operated by a go- usually a non-government organization. So, you know, they have uh, – I think it's a step in the right direction because it adds competition, but – that's what I was saying. It's, I mean, it's still a government solution. It's not an actual marketplace uh, solution. It's not anything resembling freedom in education. And some charter schools do better, and some not really. So it just all depends. Well, 855 450 free is the number. Thanks, Paul, for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, 855 450 free. You can also reach us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Can you have free speech? in the government school system. Um, More coming up. Free Talk Live. This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving, an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years? Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. (sighs) I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. A report by Stanford University researchers released Thursday found that Americans spend 90% of their waking hours staring at glowing rectangles. Researchers identified more than 30 varieties of iridescent rectangles, ranging from personal and work rectangles to rectangles that heat food and those that can fit right in one's pocket. From the moment Americans wake up, they are uh, captivated by these bright, uh, pulsing rectangles. Uh, In fact, if you look at the data, It's hard to find a single minute when the public isn't uh, captivated by these, excuse me. um, I'm sorry, where were we? In local news, a runover squirrel is remembered as frantic and indecisive. And in other news, a trail of rose petals leads a wife to a sink full of dishes. Prince Fielder reports to spring training exactly the right amount overweight, and a local yard sale reeks of divorce. If you don't hear the sound of my voice the same time next week, alert my family and then visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about freedom of speech. Can it exist on a government school campus uh, in one place nearby Seattle? There is a school district uh, in which there's a young man who is apparently in high school. He's been preaching in the school. And we're not sure exactly where in the school he's been engaging in, in his preaching. He's also been handing out tracts. Uh, religious tracts, and this has uh, bothered some people. They have complained about it, and he's been punished a couple of times, a few, two or three times for this. He is now bringing suit against the school district, as I understand it. Yes. And so I'm very interested to see how this pans out because I, you know, I'm the kind of person, I'm going to err on the side of free speech. Right, even uh, though you're not a Christian. No, I'm not a Christian. So I think that I this is Im important to look at is is that here on Free Talk Live, we don't take teams, we don't take sides, we look at issues as they stand and understand that if you do not stand for uh, people's rights, that they won't stand for you. Even if I wouldn't self-identify as a Christian. Um, You're a Quaker. I, I'm a Quaker, but, uh, you know, that's sort of in the tr 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 Christian tr tradition. Um uh, I, and I wouldn't do this behavior. I, I don't think your immortal soul is in peril, I think, is uh, probably what really motivates many people who sort of get out there to try to, mm -hmm. to, to convert people. They're, they're, they care about other people, and they, know, they, and they know in their heart of hearts that their soul is in peril. They could yeah. spend eternity in, in, damn, he's, in hell. He's probably not doing this to be annoying to his classmates, even though I, some of them may find it annoying. Um, I, you know, from I, his I, point of view, you have all of eternity to look at. You need to look yeah. at this from the big picture. All of eternity will be spent in heaven or hell, and that this is just a, you know, just a drop in the bucket as far as time goes. You better pay attention to your relationship with, uh, you know, Jesus or whoever. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. We can talk more about free speech in government schools. Does it even exist? Uh, is any semblance of it just an illusion? Uh, being allowed by the administration. Let's continue that discussion, but first. Yeah, we're going to the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's going to be held at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin this March, the 28th and 29th of March in uh, 2015. They're going to have the best and brightest speakers and the latest exhibitions in Bitcoin, as well as hosting what this was uh, really fantastic last year, the Million Dollar Bitcoin 2.0 Hackathon. So... Four different projects got launched there, and uh, they're 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 on their way to making uh, to be very exciting, and and so you know dropping a million bucks on something certainly is helpful in creating new businesses. You're invited, and as, as a matter of fact, we're invited. We're going to be there. So is the Texas people from the Texas legislature have been invited to allow them to see firsthand 
that not enacting complicated regulations actually encourages innovation and job creation. Who'd have thought about it? The Texas Bitcoin Conference, it's going to prove that Bitcoin is a force for good. Go on, on to TexasBitcoinConference.com. You can get your tickets and details about all the ways that you can be a part of the Texas Bitcoin Conference. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be phenomenal. Tickets are $150. If you use this coupon mm. code, you can take $25 off, so $125. Coupon, Very affordable. Yep, just coupon code. Convention. Free Talk Live, all one word. We are Free Talk Live. Just all one word. I think you can use FTL, too. They were supposed to turn that on. I don't know if it's been done yet. So there you Let go. Let us take, know. Yeah. <laughs> take, uh, take $25 off. TexasBitcoinConference.com. It's in Austin at the Moody Theater. Should be a lot of fun. March 28th and 29th. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, especially the, the change in venue. That's, I think, the most exciting part about this uh, for me because being in downtown Austin, it's just going to be more fun uh, that way to go to a convention. So looking forward to it. And uh, so we've been talking about this guy. He's in trouble. He's a high schooler. He's been preaching. He's been handing out pamphlets, tracts. And I just I'm I guess I'm wondering, you know, who out there listening thinks that he shouldn't be able to do that? Because, Mark, you're sounding like somebody who's saying, no, this guy should have some sort if you're going to allow him to do this, it should be in some sort of restricted room uh, in which, of course, no one's going to go. So what's the point of speaking? Hold on just a second. If uh young people tend to be more interested in ideas, right? You don't see anybody going to the town common, generally, except crazy people with their soapbox to stand on and and preach. But young people tend to be more interested in ideas. Older people tend to be more set in their ways. I'm less interested in, um, you know, going someplace to hear somebody, you know, talk about their radical idea, whatever that might be, than I was when I was younger. And so there, you might very well have a situation because in order to speak freely, you would have to go to some place, go to the room. So mm-hmm. therefore, you'd have all kinds of different people exchanging ideas. So it, I, I think that it could be a room, a forum in a school could be more valuable than a classroom. Because think about it for a second. Um, you know, we use ideas every day. Many of these ideas were formulated in uh, in high school and, and college time time frames. And most of the things I learned in high school I'm not using today. So I'm not saying high school's of no value, but I am saying that, hey, this could be a free-form learning room, and it would be a heck mm-hmm. of a lot more valuable than this kid standing up on his table in the lunchroom uh, getting pelted by well, again, you don't know what he's biscuits. Doing. You, you don't know what he's doing. You just no. made that up. Um, but you know, maybe he's I don't know what standing. the specifics are, but I, when you say that, use the term freedom of speech, it means you are free to speak anytime you wish. So therefore— you should be able to speak anytime you want, and you can't do that in high school. No, that's true. You can, and it is sort of this this balancing act between having an, an environment that is one in which people can actually learn something, because obviously if there's some person shouting uh, Bible verses you know, just outside of a class, that's going to make it difficult to concentrate on the slideshow or whatever the hell is going on in the classroom. So, I mean, I can understand that there's that one side of this pushing toward, you know, a quiet environment for people in which they can learn. And then on the other side, there's the push for, hey, this is a government school. There should be free speech allowed at the very least in certain places on the government school campus. And I'm not, even though while I would agree that, you know, being in class and just speaking randomly would be inappropriate, I also think that going and just having one area in which someone can speak, the sort of classic free speech zone that we've been uh, put forth, that have been put forth in various different protest locations. For instance, if you know some politician's coming somewhere, the Secret Service will set up a free speech zone and they'll try to force people to go in there or strongly encourage them to go in there. I know that uh, when I went to the Keene State College here, I did not attend Keene State College, but I went to the college when they were having this uh, politician, Joe Biden, he was coming there uh, during one of the political campaigns. call him the vice president. I think he was the VP at the time. Um, But uh, anyway, he's, you know, he's a politician. He came to the campus. There was Secret Service and they had set up these free speech zones. And we were strongly encouraged to go to the free speech zone, but ultimately we chose not to, and they didn't do anything about it. So I think that, you know, 
you should not go to these free speech zones. To go into a free speech zone on your own volition, meaning that you know you've been asked to or sort of told to in a in a not so ordering way by a police officer saying something like, "I'm going to have to ask you to go into the free speech zone." Okay, thanks for asking. I'll stay right here. Um, I think that it's important to make your stand where you are, and that's why I support this guy. Now, again, without knowing exactly the circumstances as to how he was speaking, in what venue, on the school campus, presuming he wasn't particularly trying to disrupt the classes that were nearby, I support him in making his stand. I think he's doing the right thing. Well, okay, so I think that we, the, the, the problem here is, is that you're asking me for an incremental change in order to, I don't think that it's right to go after this kid who's been suspended three times for, uh, you know, talking uh, about his religion. I, I don't support that. But I'm looking for an opportunity for him because my solution to this is get rid of every single government school, which I call middle class uh, welfare babysitting, because that's what it is to me. Uh, schooling is something yeah. that. I, well, that's not going to happen, Mark. I mean, that's an ideal world. Let's go to Ma uh, Patrick in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Patrick. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good, sir. Go ahead. Um, I, uh, I kind of agree and, and disagree with the whole school thing. I think high school is different. I think this topic would be a little more uh, appropriate maybe for college age, you know, this, this discussion. I think in high school, and, and, you know, the point is it is a government school, and, if, and, and, and I don't have kids in high school age yet, but um, if my kids are in a government school in high school, then I have the right for my kids to get a good education without being... Stand by. I want to give you a chance so to... If you send your kids to government high school, the chances of them getting a good education are pretty slim. Yeah, hang on, Patrick. We'll bring you back. <laughs> Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code Radio, the word 60. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all new ancient defense herbal immunity blend crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. Coming up, a police chief made some profane videos earlier this year, and turns out the truth about him is, well, he was actually working for the feds the whole time, and he was trying to uh, gin up angry people and turn them into uh, angry people who would do something against the government. Mm. Uh, We can give you more information about that, because we actually covered the story originally when uh, this guy first made news. So there's that, and there's lots of other stuff that we can talk about. Of course, your calls come first. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And don't forget, you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. If you want to support the show, shop with us. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. You can enter Amazon through the links you'll find there. Of course, it's the holiday shopping season. Great time to get some shopping done. Maybe order some gifts for your friends. Of course, Amazon has gift services as well. You order through our links at shop.freetalklive.com, and Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. So you get the same great prices, the same huge selection, the great deals you're used to. At Amazon, you're just entering through our affiliate links, so Free Talk Live gets a a portion of the purchase price. Let's go back to your phone calls and thoughts. Patrick is in Virginia listening to WNIS. Patrick, I wanted to make sure you had a chance to get your thoughts out. You were saying something about, um, we were talking about these high schoolers, and one of them in particular is is in trouble for preaching. And you were saying your son or daughter has a right to an education, and I wanted to make sure you had a chance to to get all your thoughts out. So go ahead. Yeah, sure. And and again, you know, uh, I, I was a private school product. Uh, myself, my wife, uh, she went through public school. She went on to uh, to get an MBA, and and you know that route. Me, not so much. You know, ended up with a high school diploma and, and had to find a job. But uh, so I definitely think education is more than just the schooling. I think it, you know, parents and everything like that. You know, oh, uh, absolutely. Fun. I think that's the parents are the single biggest indicator as to how a kid is going to do in life. Exactly, and so and and it's to that same point. You know. Uh, I think in in you know growing up through middle school or even in the high school, those are those formative years where it, the parents should have control over their child's development to some degree, their exposure and things like that. So, you know, you get children who are, and this kid, there's no way this kid that's his own agenda. I mean, I was in high, you guys, you know, when we were in high school, there's no way that was. Our focus was to start a rally over, you know, any specific topic. You well, know, I don't know about that because girl, I was very like in, into uh, anarcho-communism in, in school. This is what I wanted to talk about. It was sure. very important to me. And it's not that I would have gone and, and done the, the preaching, but I didn't have the personality type for it. Somebody else might have. Mm-hmm. And this is what concerns me here about what you're saying is, is that you're picking an arbitrary time frame, which is the end of high school, you know, May. <laughs> uh, May sure. of the... Uh, of, you know, around surrounding your 18th year, and saying that this is, you know, this is the end period for when kids have the ability to sort of decide whether they can be introduced to new ideas, and then starting in uh, August of that next of that same year, then they can really begin to talk about uh, ideas when they're freshmen in college. And I don't think I agree with you. I think that our well, and, biggest and problem with high schools I... is is they're less like college than they should be, not um, mm. you know more. Well, no, and I and I and I think 
that's the point too. There though it is that age line. You know, you're talking a juvenile compared to an adult. You're talking to somebody who can make their own choices. Yeah, that's a real. Hold on, that's a ridiculous legal. Discrimination. When you say a juvenile versus an adult, you're saying that a politician has decided that 18 years. Some politicians have decided that 18 that's years right. old is a is adulthood, and that uh, 17 year old years old isn't. And I say to you that right. minds mature differently in different areas, and so therefore uh, we can't have some arbitrary time frame, especially when you're talking about ideas, because ideas aren't that... Well, ideas only become dangerous is when they're prohibited. Right, and, and and I'm all about fostering, you know, ideas coming forth, and I, but the expectation is we've all agreed to that. You know, as, I haven't as, agreed as, to it. Oh, I've had it forced well, on me by a bunch of politicians who are now dead. Same same, same with me. I was the guy who you know, joined <laughs> the military at 18 and then wonder why I couldn't drink. You know, so I, mm. I understand that concept. However, as a nation as a whole... Nobody seems to be challenging that point. So nobody's challenging what point? The the age the age point of a juvenile into an adult. I will challenge that point. I will challenge that point. That's a ridiculous discrimination against young people to call someone who is is under the age of eighteen in uh, unable to make a decision in their lives is just truly insulting. To I had a credit card at seventeen. They can't vote. They can't vote. Well, they, they, they should be able to. A, 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 a few short decades ago, 21-year-olds were the ones that could vote. That's right, and I'm not arguing against any of that. And even you know, years back, you could buy alcohol at 18, but I'm not arguing any against that. What I am saying is that that is the expectation this nation has. And so if you're uninformed and you're raising the child up through that group and your expectation is my child is not going to be exposed to and or overly – and not bullied, but overly, uh, I don't know, saturated with information in these formative years because that's the expectation I have, then they have that right to it. They do pay for that school just like everybody else. They do pay for that government. We all pay our taxes. So uh, what, what you're saying, is- I just want to make sure I'm understanding you, Patrick. You're saying that you believe that when you're sending kids to government schools – that they should not be exposed to a variety of information? No, that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is, no. is that we're all owners of public schools. All the mm-hmm. parents that's that right. send their kids there, and then everybody, everybody else too. And I think that this is really the problem is, is look, if I rent an office and somebody wants to come and preach to me from my, you know, inside my um, you know, office while I'm trying to work, that's not free speech when I take them and I kick them out no. on the street. Well, that's and, private that's property right. versus public property. Yeah, but, but what, what is I'm public property, owner. though? I mean, I'm clearly not an owner of the government. In schools, but, they've banned me from I all the campuses. The student, I think what the other students involved in this environment are private property. Each and every student is a private property of their parents. They do send them to a government school, and what their expectation, even though they might be uninformed, and that and they are the you know, unfortunately they're the majority, I believe. But their thing is, my kids are to get educated, and nothing else, nothing else, and until they get into the college years, and then I kind of cut them loose. They're an adult for our statutes and our standards in America. So, that, so you're saying my, you don't think that this young man should be able to preach while he's at school? I, I don't. I don't think he should. No, not in high school. No, I, I think, uh, you know, again, if he wants to, you know, I had my circle of friends and we had all our circle of friends. You're jocks. Or, you know, if you want to express it within that group, even at the lunch, that's fine. But if you're standing up trying to express it to the school as a whole, I, I don't agree with that. So no. no passing out pamphlets, no tracts? No, none of that. I, I think that. Uh, that really, well, and again, I think it's, well, no, because again, again, amongst his own circle of friends, by all means, you know. But this is this is high school. This isn't college. This is this is. I mean, look at all high schools are regulated to such a degree. They're so yeah, far. I think it's sad, man. I think you, I think your position is really anti-freedom and really kind of sad. No, I think it's an age thing. I, I, an I definitely age thing. Why do you start, keep coming back to that? Well, Why would somebody at age 18 be uh, somehow more ab- able to uh, identify things they agree with or disagree with than someone who's 17 or 16? Well, because I believe there's some kids at 16 who don't develop as quick as other children at 16. And if those other children at 16 who develop faster want to implement their plan or, or, or and, you know, persuade the well, younger people who haven't developed as fast, they're more if you're, you're, What you're saying is, is the kids aren't prepared for ideas. Um, I disagree with the statement. Then shouldn't, shouldn't we disallow parents from, of you know, like I remember when I was a kid, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the good Lord my soul to keep, and if I die right. before I wake, that's some crazy crap, by the way, there, uh, to give, give to some kid. Um, yeah, like, so my, you know, parents indoctrinated me in these ideas. This is just allowing somebody else to attempt well, some uh, indoctrination in school. 
that's a parent's right, unfortunately. Oh. Wait really a minute, is. but why would you give these government bureaucrats a pass? I mean, if you're saying that teenagers can't make decisions and can't determine what's right or wrong or, you know, can't decide no. things for themselves, why should they be indoctrinated by so. anyone, I, including I the teachers? To make their own, I want them to make their own decisions, and I want them, but I also believe that, you know, if my child goes to a, 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 a public school that I'm paying for, and I don't want him exposed to that type of okay. uh, literature. So then you would su- you would support the then, the just so I want to make sure I'm clear, so you support no religious outreach, then would you also support that the U.S. military should not be allowed to recruit on campus? Yes, I, yes, up until, up until high, uh, college. I, I believe before in high school, I, I believe it should be All right, strictly at least you're educated. consistent there. I, the, I, appreci- I appreciate the, the consistency, Patrick, and thank you for yeah, the call tonight I, because, you know, the military— No advertising in the cheerleaders' uh, f- phone directory either because remember how that was funded with uh, with advertising, and advertising mm-hmm. warps people's minds. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, we, there's all kinds of things to talk about how it changes our behavior. So, therefore, you know, sponsors right. of the— Advertising to young people, for sure. I mean, the, the, the football stadium in my school was named after the guy who was the biggest donor to the— uh, the Bayshore Betterment Foundation or whatever. So in most high schools around the country that are government high schools, they have military recruiters coming in there on a regular basis, setting up a table or, you know, however they're doing it. Usually it's some sort of a table in the cafeteria, someplace where there's a fair amount of people around and they're pitching military service. They're pitching, join the military, you know, get out of high school, join the military. And They don't know. let other employers do that generally. They don't do that. And they don't also, in a lot of places, allow counter recruiters. So I've tried to set up a counter recruiting table, finding military veterans who are willing to come in and talk to these students and give them the truth about joining the military. And the school board said no to that. So clearly some speech is more equal than others. 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, December 6th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.31 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,192 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $377. 
Antiwar.com reports struggling to defend the nuclear negotiation extension with Iran to congressional opponents who did not like the talks to begin with. The Obama administration is claiming major new concessions were made by Iran to see talks continue. The Associated Press says it has secret documents on the terms for the next seven months of talks and that it includes, among other things, Iran agreeing to snap inspections by the IAEA and to convert much of its remaining uranium to fuel. The conversion includes the last 35 kilograms of more highly enriched uranium oxide, which Iran was producing for fuel rods for the Tehran research reactor. They've agreed to finish the conversion into fuel rods to eliminate Western claims that they could enrich further. The administration has been presenting the document to congressional officials in an attempt to convince them to hold off on new sanctions, which would violate the agreement and would derail the talks. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports protesters in New York and other cities staged a third night of rallies on Friday denouncing use of deadly force by police against minorities even as prosecutors said they would consider charges against an officer in the fatal shooting of an unarmed man in November. The slaying of Akai Gurley gunned down in a dimly lit stairwell in the New York borough of Brooklyn was the latest in a string of lethal police actions feeding U.S. public outrage over what many perceive as racially based violence by law enforcement. This week's wave of angry but largely peaceful protest began Wednesday when a New York grand jury declined to bring charges against police officer Daniel Pantaleo in the chokehold death of Eric Garner, a 43-year-old father of six. Garner, who had no weapon, was being arrested on suspicion of selling cigarettes illegally in a videotaped confrontation with police on Staten Island in July. The decision sparing Pantaleo from prosecution was announced nine days after a Missouri grand jury chose not to indict a police officer for the shooting death in August of an unarmed teenager in the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson. Soraya Soy Free, a nurse from the Bronx who has been protesting in New York, said, The government has created a monster and the monster is now loose. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system and to fully capitalize on that decision in their fundraising efforts. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. Partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. UPI reports the owner of a 5,000-pound bridge that vanished from his property in suburban Detroit said the wood and steel structure has been found about 30 miles away. Robert Cortez, who reported the bridge stolen from his Farmington Hills property on Wednesday, said the missing wood and steel structure was found Thursday about 30 miles away in Belleville. Farmington Hills Police Commander Matt Cohen said police investigation is ongoing, but the person or people responsible for taking the structure might not face prosecution. He told the Detroit News, I can't say if there was a crime committed here. This might just be a result of a misunderstanding. A big misunderstanding. Adding that yes, the bridge was apparently taken without permission, but it would require an actual victim to seek criminal charges, and he has made it clear he's not concerned so much about prosecution, just getting his bridge back. Cortese had earlier told WXYZ TV he would not seek to press charges if the bridge was returned, saying, if we can get it returned, the police investigation is over. If not, it continues on. He said the bridge, which was built over a creek on his family's property by his father and uncle more than 25 years ago, will be moved to his catering business for use in wedding photos. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. North, an extremely vocal opponent of gay marriage, drew fire during his 2010 re-election campaign for saying that the legalization of gay marriage would lead to man-horse marriages. In one instance, he told the New Haven Register, quote, it's a slippery slope. If we allow two men to marry, what's next? Men marrying horses? 
But yesterday, North found himself at the center of a media firestorm when the New York Times published photos of North on what appears to be romantic outings with a horse. Gathered during the Times' two-month investigation, the pictures show North in almost a dozen locations with the same three-year-old mare. A former aide discovered links to numerous horse-related sites, including phillyfreaks.com and hothindquarters.com, a North's work computer. The Times is accusing North of using federal funds to pay for luxurious trips, including a three-night stay at the high-end Sueño Stables in Catalonia, Spain, last month. North released a statement yesterday claiming he only spent time with the horse twice while conducting research for his anti-gay marriage project. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program here. We're on the live Saturday edition, doing the show seven days a week live for your listening entertainment. Of course, you can call in and join the program by bringing up whatever you'd like to discuss. In the last hour, we talked about freedom of speech as it applies, or in many cases does not, apply to government school campuses. Uh, what inspired the, st uh, the discussion was a story about a young man in high school who is using the school campus as a preaching grounds for his religious belief system. He's preaching verbally and preaching by handing out tracts, religious pre-printed you know, pre uh, handouts. Uh, Michael Leal is his name, and uh, I use the term loud is uh, part of what the description is of his preaching. So, uh, but we don't know in what circumstance he was being loud, if he was outside of a classroom, inside of a classroom, in sort of a common area in the, you know, well, in the... Yeah, the, um, the, the idea Student here is union. His, his claim in his lawsuit, uh, he's been suspended three times. In his mm -hmm. lawsuit, he, of course, claims that, you know, he was doing it in an appropriate manner. And, uh, you know, the school says it's inappropriate. And I think his case is less important than sort of the overall topic of free speech in school. And I, whereas I support the idea of freedom of speech... I have a difficult time understanding how freedom of speech and government schools goes together. I know how it goes in, goes in private schools, which is, you know, you're going to obey our rules or you're not going to be a student here. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. But with a government school where everybody's forced to pay for it and everybody has the quote unquote right to an education, then what do you do with somebody who's just won't zip it? Leal says that lately it's been outside, maybe a few times inside. It really depends on where I'm at and where the people are at as well. He says it's usually during quiet time, self-time, time for yourself or lunch, after school, before school, stuff like that. I never try to do it to disrupt the school schedule at all, he says. So it sounds like he's trying to be as respectful as possible to what's going on around him. It would be hard to preach like during class or something like that. But And what is self-time? I, I was never told that I had any self-time in high school. So, I don't know. It might just be a period off or something like that yeah. where you can do some studying or who knows. Right. So if he comes up during, you know, during lunchtime and wants to do some preaching um, to people or who don't want to listen to him, then he has to sort of, you know, talk over him to hear it. His to him, his message is the most important thing he can say right mm -hmm. then. You need to turn your life over to Jesus Christ, because if you don't, you're going to burn in hell for the rest of your for the, the rest of eternity. Right. Like uh, we can't grasp the amount of time you will burn in hell. And this is that this is why this is important. Well, okay, but his his message is important, but so is anybody else that has a message, and I think they should all be able to express that message. And I think that the answer to free speech that you don't like, and that's the thing, is some people have complained about this. You know, they don't want to be subjected to his religious beliefs while they're at the government school. Not that he's necessarily disrupting a class, but that they just don't like it that he's saying these things. And I don't think that's the correct solution is to say you can't say those things or that you have to go stand behind, you know, a place in which, you know, no one is around to speak to no one. Uh, that is not a solution. Having a free speech zone is, is not a solution. So to me, the solution to speech that you don't like is more speech. You know, if there's people out there who are uncomfortable by what he's saying, they should get out there and say something back and, you know, grab a video camera, record it, uh, you know, give give your side of things. Maybe the atheists want to come out and, and speak back to this guy. They should be able to do that rather than scurrying away to the administrators and begging them to crack down and create a solution. Aren't here. you concerned that this the administ this will come to the administrators when because when people have an opportunity to disagree 
and especially I'm just going to make a broad generalization here, young males uh, begin to Mm -hmm. disagree that things can go to blows more quickly uh, than people who are perhaps uh, used to, well, to disagree. It, well, hold on And there, that's Mark. the administrator's, administrator's problem then. This, this sounds like a pretty scary idea. So first you propose the scary idea of having free speech zones. No, I propose, l- l- let's be 100% clear what I propose. I propose shutting down every, well, no, I don't propose shutting it down. I propose uh, disallowing local governments from extorting money for people for private, for public schools. That's what Great. I support. I agree with, I agree with that proposal. Um, but it sounded like while we still have the government schools, you were proposing a, a free speech zone, and now you are proposing what? Well, I'm I'm just saying that the danger is is when you have you know one side and then the atheists come out and You're start talking. Be a fight. There might very You're well be a fight. You're saying that because someone if, might fight, they should not be allowed to speak freely. If That's I can't terrible. talk with my friends morning after morning that I'm trying to have because this kid comes around mm-hmm. and he won't listen to me, hey, go away. Mm-hmm. I don't care about your religion anymore. At some point or another, somebody's going to be like, if you don't shut up, I'm going to shut you up. Mm-hmm. And that's how that's going to go. Well, that's not and okay either. To him, that's persecution and proof that things are going well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he's probably right about that. Uh, toll free number here tonight eight fifty five four fifty free. That is, uh, that's the toll free number here. You can bring up anything that you'd like, especially if you want to weigh in on this subject. I think that the the claim that someone might get violent, so therefore speech should be restricted, is a very scary idea, Mark. And I'm shocked that you would uh, that you would propose that. I'm not. Look, I think you know. I don't know why that. you're trying to push me into these positions. I that's think what this you is said. a conundrum. Yeah. And that's the difficulty, is, is that you're trying to run a place of business, an educational business, and you are, have to allow people to speak freely. I can't run any other kind of business with just anybody walking in and being able to talk. Mm-hmm. I can't run that business. This is an untenable position I don't know. that you're it's putting tenable. me in. I don't know if it's untenable. I mean, it's, it's I think, completely tenable to allow people to speak okay. and to pass out pamphlets Am so I long as they're not disrupting the class that's as, going on. As the, um, as the school administrator, what responsibility do I have for the safety of Mr. Leal? Well, there is an argument that the school is responsible for protecting their wards. Usually the government doesn't have so any obligation to protect you. say what he wants to people when he wants, and I have to protect him from the consequences of those of, of, those, of well, that speech. Well, you won't be held liable. I mean, you can, you can rest assured, Mark, that as the administrator of the school, you personally will never be held liable for not protecting the students. Then I'm fine with it. But the, uh, the school itself could be held liable. Well, that's what I mean. And so, well, there's, there's a difference there. Okay. And so, you know, what, 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 and the reason why, because we've said a, a billion times on Free Talk Live that the courts have ruled over and over again that the government has no obligation to protect you. That's generally a true statement, but I think the exception to it tends to be that when you are a ward of the state, they do have some level of obligation to protect you. So if you are a prisoner... Or if you are in a government school, which is like being a prisoner in a lot of ways, uh, you know you're there in these those places against your will. In in many cases, a lot of the kids in government schools would prefer to be somewhere else. And so, can I have Mr. Leal sign a piece of paper that says that uh, he will not hold the uh, the the school, yeah. of whatever uh, county. Uh, liable for any violence that's enacted against him based sounds fair. on the preaching that he does. In that case, he can preach before school, after school, and uh, in the lunchroom, as far as I'm concerned. Great. And if somebody wants to beat him into a raspberry jam, then that's not my fault. All right. I'm on board with that one. Let's go to Larry in Kalamazoo listening to WBCK. Hey, Larry. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, what's uh, on just your a mind? quick comment about that. I'm, I'm a, you know, about your free speech in the school thing. I'm a former public school teacher. And yeah. And now I teach college. Um, I, you know, I, I don't see a problem with this at all. I agree with you that, that there ought to be free speech for everybody. All the school district has to do is put out some guidelines in terms of as long as you don't disrupt other people. If anybody turns into anything violent, then there's very serious penalties for them. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just lay out the guidelines in advance. I think, you know, he wants to talk about his religion. That's fine. But, you know, if you say no free speech, then you can't talk about, about, about gay rights. You can't talk about politics. You can't talk about anything. And I think the schools, especially if you're talking about high school age and college, they need to hear more. I agree. Um, they should know, be places not where told by the teachers. They should be places more like colleges, as Mark was suggesting earlier, where ideas are encouraged to be exchanged rather than Absolutely. shut down with threats. 
and you know, because they're, they're typically now that all they hear are the politics and the opinions of the teachers, and and you know, mm-hmm. sometimes those can be very biased, and we don't have any problem with that. And, and I think you know the argument of oh, there might be a fight. Well, you put out rules. Look, people have a right to think if they're inter- interfering other people, they can't do that. If someone else starts to pick a fight, you're immediately suspended, and maybe even criminal charges against you. Who's going to start a fight if they know that's hanging over their head? I think it's actually pretty simple. We I'm, on, I'm on your side, Larry, and Larry is a former teacher, so yeah. uh, Larry sounds he, smart. I think he knows it. Thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Good thoughts. 855 450 free. That's the toll free number. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. 
Talk Live. Join us here on the phones, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. We've been talking about free speech. Can it exist on a government high school campus? When I was going to government school, there was a conversation I had with the principal at one point where he pretty much told me straight up there's no such thing as free speech on a government He just wanted you to shut up. Well... Um, I forget what even the issue was that had brought me into the principal's office. I know, you just disagree with authority often enough that yes, I, at some point or another you're going to forget about what the reason was. We were on a first-name basis. <laughs> so, uh, I was in there fairly often, all things considered. And you know, to me, I guess it was kind of a shock. I mean, that was one of my first experiences with the state. Obviously, young people, that's usually their first experience with the state is going to the state-run schools. And I had been told all these things about free speech and the Constitution. and Right. You, know, you, the you take Bill the government civics class. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was the real deal. And that was my first- <laughs> I thought you said freedom of speech. Yeah. That was my first hello, reality check uh, kind of moment. We'll continue with your calls and thoughts here. If you believe in the ideas of liberty, it can be really hard to read stories or watch movies with the kids in your life. I'm always sort of grumbling about the collectivist and statist undertones and propaganda inside entertainment. Well, I listened to one of the best pieces of audio theater that I've ever heard recently, and it's so good, I would sort of call it an audio movie. It has big-name actors, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, uh, James Cosmo from Braveheart, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, Billy Boyd from uh, Lord of the Rings. And they're in this audio thing called In Freedom's Cause. And it's one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history, the story of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce. It's like Braveheart, only historically accurate. History has been gutted and sanitized in freedom's cause. It brings history alive for kids and adults in a wholesome way. You can give the gift of freedom to your loved ones this year. This is a great gift to all the kids in your life because it's really going to teach them something. And I think that the adults, especially the history buffs, are going to enjoy this. But anybody could in the same way that anyone can enjoy you know, the movie Braveheart. Use coupon code FTL when you buy the family four-pack at free, infreedomscause.com, and you'll get half off. That's a huge savings. This is four gifts for the price of one, essentially. Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. That's infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL, and you'll save 50% off on this great gift. Let's go to Michael. He's in Virginia Beach listening to WNIS. Hello, Michael. Hi. Uh, sounds like a little bit of a hypocrisy here on the part of the family uh, sending their child to school to, to preach to others. I, I say hypocrisy because uh, most churches don't allow uh, people to come in there and freelance as preachers in their congregation uh, on a Sunday morning. What we well, need the church is, is private property, so the church can disallow anyone they want to from coming in there. Well, the whole idea is uh, Christians who complain most about uh, not being free to preach enough are also people who don't have the ability to uh, persuade people in ordinary conversation. In other words, they have been brainwashed to think that uh, what freedom is is sitting in a large congregation uh, for an hour a week and not saying anything, just sitting there, being quiet, <laughs> and let somebody cram a bunch of stupid ideas down your throat, and that way you get to go to heaven. Well, well that's, that's, I'm a, that's a legitimate critique of the uh, uh, organized, of organized religion generally. Organized Christian religion. Uh, I wouldn't say just the Christians. I would uh, yeah. propose to you that the Quakers had a system for dealing with this uh, up to 400 years ago. Um, with the, What's that? Well, the Quakers, there isn't a preacher. In, mo- in some Quaker churches, well, right? Well, yeah, like some have evolved to just wanting a preacher, and uh, there's no doubt about that. But when you're, you're talking about a, what What's they call the name? a there's a term for that, right? liberal unprogrammed, unprogrammed meetings. Unprogrammed. And they don't use the term church, they use the term meeting. Uh, unprogrammed they, meaning there is no pastor, there is no preacher. That's correct. Okay. Well, so, well let, me, let, let me make just uh, two comments there off the Quaker issue. The Quakers are very, very similar to Jews, 
in terms of their distinction uh, as uh, Nobel Prize winners. That's true. Jews, <laughs> Jews are 120 times more likely than the average non-Jew to win a Nobel Prize for science or medicine, but Quakers are way more uh, likely than 120 times. I don't even know what the number is. Fascinating. I, did not, I had not heard that. Hey, Michael, thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Well, Quakers are, you know, historically known for being real activists and doers. Thinkers, you know? too. Um, yeah. People that have different ideas, and it's a it was a forum. It was a collection of people who had different ideas, the the diggers, the seekers, and they all sort of came together, levelers, um, to bring their ideas into this movement that was sort of counter uh, the Church of England and— uh, it was very popular up until the Revolutionary War, and that's kind of what kicked the legs out from underneath it. David is in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, David. Hello. Hi there. Um, I'm just wondering, I guess, a couple of things bother me. Uh, I guess you guys are you know, kind of discussing something that you obviously don't know all the facts. I mean, you've admitted you don't know all the facts. I don't, I don't either. I don't believe news uh, stories I, anyway, I, I, so I don't think we can, any of us can have facts. <laughs> <laughs> well... That's true. But um, I just wonder if the tables were turned, if, if he was an atheist handing out atheist pamphlets and preaching atheo- a- atheism, or however you pronounce it. Uh, I'm guessing the ACLU would be all over the all over that school uh, for kicking him out. Um, it, just, it just seems that people, certain groups, certain um, oh, self-interest groups are getting all the voice anymore in this, in this country. You know, I don't know if what you're saying is true. I just I don't know the answer to I that. I don't see why the ACLU wouldn't either. take up his case. Because the ACLU is not a, I mean, they're not uh, a Christian based. I guess you don't, you don't have don't to be Christian based to support free speech. The ACLU is an organization that supports uh, free speech. Is one of the things that they support. A lot of the uh, constitutionally protected rights right. is what the ACLU backs up. Well, right. I don't know. Right. I don't want to defend the ACLU in this circumstance because I don't know if they turned down the case. But a, a Christian organization did take it up. He's not paying for his right. lawsuit. So, I mean, I guess the the system that we're all in decided to pick this up because the problem is with the courts is that the average person can't afford to fight for what they feel is right. They have to go to one of these organizations on bended knee and essentially yeah. ask them. And I understand that, but also there's, I don't believe, anyway, I'm not a lawyer, I don't believe there's any law on the books anywhere in this country where a person has a right to not be offended. That's correct. Um, I mean, it's just crazy what's going on anymore. There's uh, two weeks ago, something out in Massachusetts or something, some lady complained because the school was calling it Christmas vacation or Christmas break. And so they got together and changed it to a holiday break. Mm -hmm. The community got together, put together 4,200 signatures uh, on a petition to get it changed back to Christmas break. And the school wouldn't do it because one person uh, complained about it. And another thing, all these protests, you know, when they uh, closed down the Lincoln Tunnel, all those people, they should have sealed off both entrances, let them fill up the Lincoln Tunnel, seal off both entrances, and... I let them out until they paid a huge fine. Yikes. All right, more coming up here in moments. Free Talk Live. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. 
I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Freedom of speech in government schools. Can it exist? One young man is in trouble for speaking about his religious beliefs while in government school. Now, he says he's not doing it to disrupt class. He's not necessarily doing it during class. Sounds like he's maybe doing it out in the hallways or outside or in the cafeteria or something like that. And it has led to a conversation about just speech in general. Uh, should it be allowed? Should there be restrictions? And what should those restrictions be? I don't mind the idea of saying, hey, you can't be preaching in class because that could be pretty disruptive. Most of school is in class, as I recall. But there's times where you're outside of class, walking in the hallways or out on a free period or at lunch or something like that, and those would seem to be fine times to have discussions about anything. We only had maybe five minutes tops between classes, so there's one and a lot of, a lot of opportunity to uh, hassle people in that period of time. Lunch might be the only one. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what a school day looks like these days, but uh, but yeah, I think you're right about that. Anyway, you're welcome to comment here at 855-450-FREE. Uh, I err on the side of more speech. I don't think we should be restricting speech, especially on government property. I think more speech is a good thing, and restricting ideas will only dumb people down even further. So the Bitcoin economy continues to grow. You can buy just about anything in Bitcoin, but people have been sort of using the car as a bellwether. It's, there's, there aren't many car dealers that are going to accept Bitcoins for cars. Well, now there is. 
New Age Auto Sales is a car dealership down in Florida, and they can ship anywhere in the world. Their cars come from their rental fleet. You can go to newageautosales.com and take a look at what they've got as far as inventory goes. Uh, their, their cars come from their rental fleet. They're maintained by them, and they take good care of them. The reason that they um, that they can price them so low is this, there's no cost as far as the auction fees go. There's no transportation. You know, when they put used cars on trucks and drive them all over the place, they don't have those transportation costs built in. Now, there will be a cost for, I assume, shipping them around the world because they can ship them anywhere you want for New Age Auto Sales. But they want to be the Bitcoin auto dealer. They're the first auto dealer to accept Bitcoins, and that makes it pretty exciting. So you can get late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head over to their website or give them a call and buy a car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership, NewAgeAutosales.com. Yes, they will take U.S. dollars. NewAgeAutosales.com. All right, so we're going to continue with your calls and thoughts. But real quick, I wanted to respond briefly to something our last caller said right as we were going out to break uh, about the protesters blocking some tunnel, blocking Lincoln. traffic. And I think that that's a terrible thing. I don't think that uh, people who are protesting should block traffic. I think they, they did it during the civil rights marches when black people were voting, uh, were were uh, protesting for their freedoms in mm -hmm. this country. Uh, that's that behavior is given a pass. Now you either are for it or against it because every protester believes. I'm against blocking traffic. I think that that's a. Uh, that's a way to get people upset at you. You know, they're just trying to go to work. They're trying to go and you know feed their family. Maybe if or people whatever. are standing by and they're more worried about going to work than uh, human humans having the rights of equal rights, then those people stink. Well, I, I, I guess I understand what you're saying there, Mark. But uh, you know, people should be able to get from point A to point I'm B. I'm just saying that if you want to look at protests, you need to look at history and to be able to remove the emotion from it. There are very few Americans. Well, I don't support anybody blocking the road. I'm not saying one one group should be able to block a road and the other group shouldn't. I know, but I'm telling you right now that the civil rights movement did mm -hmm. use traffic stopping measures in order to get their message across. And I'd say that there's a certain percentage of the population that still supports. It. I might be Obviously, of that percentage. they blocked some traffic recently, and I just think that it's not a good way to garner good feelings among the people you're trying to reach. Um, if you're inconveniencing somebody, if they're trying to get somewhere, and most people There's a good chance. Most it better be are, darn important, right? Most people who are driving somewhere have a destination in mind. They're not just driving about aimlessly. Uh, so you're in, you're inconveniencing probably 100% of the people that are on the road, and how is that going to affect their openness to whatever it is the message that uh, that you have? I think there are other ways to reach people in their cars, and that includes holding signs from but the side of the road. As we can see, people often don't like protesters at all. It's like get well, a job. Fine. You know, I'm the, not concerned about those people. I want to reach just the about, other people. It, well, the, there was a study done, and the study says that essentially people don't like protesters. Mm -hmm. That uh, for whatever reason, if you take the time and energy to protest what you think is wrong with the world you they don't like you and it's well, amazing so the least the last thing you want to do in that in my in my opinion is to then step out in front of those very people who don't like you and prevent them from getting to their destination so no i don't i don't support that form of protest i understand that some people do but that is actually the you know that's the textbook definition of disorderly conduct normally i'm a critic of the disorderly conduct charge as far as it's something that the police will throw it somebody they don't like you know if you're if you're doing something the police don't like and they want to give you you know arrest you for it they'll hit you with disorderly conduct but the actual one of the actual reasons for the disorderly conduct statute is the blocking of traffic and i think that one makes sense let's go to your calls and thoughts we've got chuck in des moines you're on free talk live chuck hey there hey chuck yeah i was just going to respond to the uh young man preaching in the school uh I applaud him, first of all. Uh, there should probably be a little bit more of that because the, the caller before the last caller said that uh, uh, somebody doing that was taking a bunch of uh, – taking a crap load of ideas and <laughs> trying, to, trying to feed them to people. And basically that's what school is nowadays. Mm -hmm. I mean <laughs> – I have a six-year-old going to first grade who is getting ready to be taught sexual harassment in first grade. <laughs> really? And uh, yeah, really. Do they send a piece and, of paper uh, home they, that says that you can choose that that uh, you know is is appropriate or not? 
Right, right. Well, they didn't say say whether or not you could say whether it's appropriate or not. They just said you could view the material and blah blah blah. When we were in and, school, uh, the I, boys would play against the girls a lot of times in teams. Is that sexual harassment? Yeah. No. Okay. And see, here, here's the here's the thing. <laughs> we we live in a a, a moralless society now. Moralless. Instill, yeah, we used to instill morals and values in kids. Um, one of the things that, that happened along the way is government took the power away from the parents and they gave it to the children. You know, if, if you, if you hit me with a belt, I'm going to call DHS and you're going to go to jail. You know, if the crime fits the punishment or if the punishment fits the crime, you know, a la Adrian, Adrian Peterson, I used to get a switch when I was younger. <laughs> well, I don't and, support, I mean, uh, uh cap, corporal punishment. Right. I think that that's abuse personally, but you know, I understand that it's your family and doing something. Yeah, I think it's Abuse it's your family, and you should and be able to set your own power. punishments for your kids. But I don't I don't support that. Right, but abuse is doing something over and over without a cause. I mean, that's like oh, it doesn't matter to me you what your drugs, excuse you is. If drugs. you're hitting children, I mean, that's that's violence. That's not cool. That teaches kids that violence solves problems. That's not what you want to teach your kids, is it? No, it teaches kids that if they do something wrong, there's severe consequences for it. A lot of times, I don't I don't say I'm not saying if they if they, you know, throw something at somebody that you should, you know, take a switch off a tree and beat them. Or oh, there's like lots that. of different. Every but, parent has their every parent that is uh, in favor of corporal punishment has their own arbitrary set of boundaries that they think it's a co- OK to fetch a switch for versus not OK. Um, you know, I just think that you should be able to find solutions to disciplinary issues without raising your hand or a switch uh, to a child. And I thank you, Chuck, for your call tonight. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I know there are parents who have managed to raise their kids without ever uh, striking them. And I your think parents those guys pretty are, much did. are heroes. Um, well, okay, so I think that what things Chuck's right about is is that to some extent you vacate power in the relationship, uh, the parent-child relationship, when corporal punishment's in play. Like, things have changed in this world, and like it or not, uh, a kid can claim that they're abused, and CPS, without the knowledge, a child can claim without the knowledge and understanding of what will happen uh, when a Child Protective Services is called, that they can claim that abuse has occurred, and that puts the parent that has used spanking as a um, as as laid the foundation of the parent uh, parent child relationship on foundation of spanking, puts them at a disadvantage. Now we've never spanked my son. I will not take the position that you do, Ian. I would not remove it from the table as far as uh, ways of handling uh, issues in the the home. But I think it puts the parent at a disadvantage. Eight fifty five. 450 free free talk live <laughs> There's more coming up mom gives us our own special christmas ornament every year this year she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer it's my most favorite ornament ever each christmas moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the christmas tree this year you can make your tradition even more special with unique customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com they have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from you can even design the characters to look just like members of your family including your pets and you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind radio listeners you can get a special deal for a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site you'll get a second one absolutely free that's two amazing ornaments for the price of one and personalization is included but hurry because this exclusive offer ends this friday at midnight the only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic
historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Negotiation isn't just something union leaders and sports agents do. Your entire day is a series of negotiations. If you have young children, you know that. In fact, your kids can teach you a lot about negotiating with grown-ups. According to the world's greatest negotiator, Herb Cohen, author of You Can Negotiate Anything. Herb says that kids understand the process of decision-making within an organization organization. When one parent says no, they'll ask the other. And Cohen says children persist and persevere. And like smart negotiators of all ages, kids know that no is an opening bargaining position. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Also, we've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm, so feel free to do that. We've talked about speech in schools, uh, religious freedom, corporal punishment even came up. So all kinds of different things that you could discuss if you'd like or bring up whatever's on your mind. Again, toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Pro XPN. If you care about your online privacy, you need to know about Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network and they encrypt your online data. They uh, make it so you're protected from snooping. Maybe you're at a coffee shop just tapping away on your laptop. Well, what you don't realize is the coffee shop administrator might be logging all of the websites that you're visiting or the search Spec terms. They are. Uh, certainly, your internet service provider is far more likely to be logging that information, and uh, they might keep that info up to five years in some cases. So if you want to stop that snooping, you go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Get started by downloading their free app for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android devices as well. Plus, if you're a Linux user, there are instructions on how to get set up. Just contact their technical support, and they'll help you out there. It's it's a little bit more complicated, but actually fairly easy to do with Linux. Just go to proxpn.com slash FTL to get started there. And when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account to get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, you can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites, you can get it all for 50% off the price of their annual account by using code FTL50. And that's code FTL, like Free Talk Live, the number 50. And then there's also a different code, which gets you a Bitcoin discount of 62% on the annual account. That code is FTLBTC. So those are the codes, FTL50, FTLBTC. It's a great discount on privacy that's priceless with proxpn.com slash FTL. It's all there with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Encrypt your internet connection and protect yourself from various different people who might be interested in, well, snagging your info. Pro XPN. They're everywhere. That's right. ProXPN.com slash FTL. As we go back to the phones and the fun, well, let's talk to Justin in Valdosta, Georgia. Justin, you're on Free Talk Live. Um, yeah. 
I agree that there should be a certain level, a certain amount of free speech in schools. And I only say that because, like one of the previous callers, I think there should be certain guidelines set up. But to me, that's where you get into a, a gray area of what would be those boundaries because there's going to be, you can about bet, there's going to be a group or students that, I'm just going to use an example, say um, they worship, they were Satanists. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, when those students get up and preach in a non-disruptive way, you know, in front of the whole school, what's the what is the student body reaction? What's the the staff? You know, what, who cares? what is the reaction to that? I mean, who cares right. what people think about that, it? If you don't like it, you should yeah. preach. You should preach something against it. Right, right. Um, and also, as far as that, some students, I'm sure they they may feel that they shouldn't, or some people may feel they shouldn't have to be obligated to react and they do also have the choice not to react but um mm-hmm. i do think they should you know counter preach something of their own but as far as um just the, the community reaction or the reaction as a whole as an example you know as satanists if they shut those people down um then i think that it would be a double standard to allow the preaching of christianity which i Absolutely. am a Christian myself but i mean i just i don't understand how i'm curious as to how they would approach the situation as far as the guidelines, basically. I mean, Well, we know how the school's approaching the situation in the story that we talked about in the right. very beginning of the show. For those of you just tuning in, it's a young man in high school. He has been Michael L- Lilly, was it? Lil. Lil, Michael Lil. Uh, in uh, the Seattle area, he has been suspended multiple times for preaching and handing out uh, biblical tracts and things like that. Uh, so the school's handling it by using violence against him, threatening him, and uh, and that's not cool. So I think that the way it should be handled is he should be allowed to speak, and then anybody else who wants to speak, including Satanists or atheists or whoever it, it is that has another message to deliver, uh, should also be allowed to deliver it. And do you agree with that? I mean, I do. I just know that the reality of the situation would be there would be an outrage, you know, just because of Satan, you know, Satanism, I guess, um, being the religion that it is and the nature that it is. Well, that's and the Christians' I, I fault, then. If the Christians want to right. uh, want to have outrage about that, all that does is it brings more attention to the Satanists. So if you look at, for instance, uh, you know, with the Christians that have just lost the case in Florida, we talked about this a few days ago on Free Talk Live, where uh, the, the Florida, what is it, the legislature has a rotunda in which different organizations have been allowed to set up nativity scenes in the past. Well, because the Christians were there setting up their nativity scene, the Satanists decided they wanted to come along and set up their own, you know, religious display of some sort. So because the Christians were there ex- exercising their free speech, then it's only fair to allow the Satanists to come in. And then if the Christians then complain about the content of the Satanist speech, then, you know, they're completely hypocritical in that particular case, if that's what they do. Right. So the, right, what their best, their best solution, the, the, the best solution to the problem, if you will, of Satanists for the, from the Christian's perspective should be to just ignore them and to let them be rather than bringing more attention to them, rather than, you know, giving the news media an excuse to come in there and, you know, make some make some hay out of what is otherwise just somebody talking. I thank you for the call tonight, Justin. Toll free number here, 855-450. Free speaking of Christians, Gene, the Christian anarchist in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live. Well, hello, guys. Hey, I wanted to say Merry Christmas from the Christian Anarchist to you and all of your listeners. Merry Christmas to you, and Gene. Happy holidays, Gene. I am having a great time. Um, just wanted to chime in for a minute. I've actually started a Wikipedia page for the first time in uh, I don't know how many years now. I've There's thought a, about doing it. What's the Wikipedia page for? Well, for the username Christian Anarchist, or, you know, all one word with no spaces. Okay. Now, so far, I haven't been able to find a real easy way on Wikipedia to find a use- list of users, but if you go to Google and type in wiki and then the username, and then it comes up. So it's hmm. easy to find through Google. Google knows everything about us. They're almost as imp- in, uh, as all-seeing as the NSA. Now, if people I'm- wanted to find out about Christian Anarchism, what do you think the best way to do that is? Well, Google has a good article on Christian anarchism, too. Um, I don't... I always thought uh, the, the Kingdom of God was within you um, by... Tolstoy? Uh, Tolstoy is a, it was a really great book. Chris, uh, Gene, now, are you making a page about you? 
your username yeah. or are you making a page about Christian anarchy? No, it's about me. It's about it's kind of a little bit of my history and what I went through in the sixties and where how I've come how my life has formed me into a Christian anarchist. And Isn't what... that against the rules of the Wikipedia? I, I can't say I'm an intimately familiar with how they work, but from what I understand, sort of the common uh, usage guideline is that you can't edit your own page. Like that's that's no, supposedly that's, a no no. Actually, if you were to put a page about a subject, yes, like the Christian Anarchy page, you can't, you know, anybody can edit it and make changes. But if you are the username, you know, your name, your username is John Smith, and you create a username page under John Smith, and you can, in fact, in fact they say only that user is supposed to edit that page. Oh, Other okay. people are not supposed to edit a page on a user. So this is under the username Christian uh, Anarchist, not under the page. So it's not a page so it, about your username. It is just your own username, your own profile. I got gotcha. you. All right, man. Anything yeah. else you want to share tonight? Well, um, I guess that's really all. I just wanted to say hello to everybody. Happy it's holidays to you, and I thank you for the call yeah. tonight. Let's continue on here and go to Dustin. He's in North Carolina. You're on Free Talk Live, Dustin. Hey, guys. Hey. Happy holidays to you guys. Go for it, sir. What's on your mind tonight? Well, um, I have had the same struggle this young man had, although I wasn't suspended for it because I don't know how his methodologies are. I haven't really read about it. But um, what I tried to do is set up a club for um, Christians and, and other believers to meet and talk about uh, our relationship with God and all that, and um, kept running into brick walls. You know, that kept being told it wasn't allowed, it wasn't allowed, it wasn't allowed. Hmm. And um, what I would suggest for this young man to do is look at the law on the books in the state and how this, uh, this sort of language is permitted in the schools. Because, um, you know, the Constitution says that we have free speech, that Congress can't <laughs> abridge our free speech. However, but, but local government can. and government bodies can. Okay. Yeah, and the school is a government body. They can't eliminate our free speech. They can only define how we exercise it. So. In my case, um, I got um, I got a petition from um, about 60 students, which was pretty big considering our school only had 500. Yeah, and uh, argued my case to the assistant principal, to the principal, and to the uh, superintendent, and then uh, drafted a letter um, explaining the situation and presented to the school board and. They did it not because they wanted to, but because I, I showed them that they were required to, under the guidelines. Good on you, Dustin. And thanks, we, thanks for sharing your story. And we tonight. met after school every day. So this kid, he can do it. He's just got to find out the right. Talk live. Kid, if something in this facility breaks, spins, or bursts, Granger's got our back. Twenty cases of disc springs from Granger.com. New rotary encoder ordered on Granger's mobile app. A dozen splash goggles from the local Granger branch. What more could you want in life? Granger has over one million products for all our facilities needs. One million. That's a one followed by six zeros, kid. Everything we need whenever we need it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services oh, get or get a full back. refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Gold closed Wednesday at $1,209, up $11. Silver closed at $16.41, down $0.04. Cents. And Bitcoin is trading around $379. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is made possible by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. They've created a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. On Wednesday evening, protesters in New York City shut down the West Side Highway to contest a grand jury decision not to indict an NYPD officer who choked Eric Garner to death. Throughout the night, protesters walked through the streets, blocking traffic at 51st Street and parts of Broadway. Protesters attempted to disrupt the annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony at Rockefeller Center, but the police kept them away from the tree. Eric Garner was killed in July when officers attempted to arrest him for selling illegal cigarettes and held him in a chokehold until he died. On Wednesday, a coalition of 17 U.S. states announced they were suing the Obama administration for issuing an executive order on immigration policy. Reuters reports that Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott is leading the fight with a lawsuit filed at the federal court in the Southern District of Texas. President Obama's executive action would allow up to 4.7 million illegal immigrants to stay without threat of deportation. A California state appeals court has unanimously ruled that the state's practice of DNA collection from people who are arrested for felonies is in violation of the state constitution. Justice J. Anthony Klein wrote, the California DNA Act intrudes too quickly and too deeply into the privacy interests of arrestees. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from Midas Resources Incorporated helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. Ecuadorian environmental activists were harassed by the Ecuadorian police, and their bus was seized as they attempted to travel to the United Nations Climate Conference in Peru. Anna Romero, with the group, said they were stopped six times before the bus was finally taken. She believes the Ecuadorian government is trying to stop them from protesting plans for oil drilling in Yasuni, an Amazon Basin nature reserve. The group is now seeking donations to continue their journey to the climate conference. An officer with the Houston, Texas Police Department has been fired and charged with bribery and misuse of official information for giving tow truck drivers tips on illegally parked cars. Charles Russell, formerly of the HPD, was apparently informing two drivers about cars parked illegally in downtown Houston in exchange for free car repairs. Potential 2016 presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul is proposing a declaration of war against the Islamic State. The legislative effort has little chance of success, but could burnish the Kentucky Republican's effort to paint himself as a strict constitutionalist as he explores a White House bid. The stepfather of Michael Brown has apologized for angry comments that he made after the grand jury decided not to indict the police officer who killed his stepson. 
but says those comments had nothing to do with the fires and violent rioting that ravaged Ferguson and the surrounding area. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries. Homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To find out more details, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, December 4th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A majority of Americans are pointing to Friday's tragedy as a clear call for major reforms in everything, or literally anything at all that might prevent acts of horrifying senseless violence. According to a recent ONN poll, the nation is united in saying that the key to preventing future tragedies is a drastic change in gun control, mental health care, school security, media coverage, violent entertainment, the fragility of the human condition, and really so many other things we probably haven't even thought of. Yeah, Jesus. The Randolph Center for Public Health and Safety also released a statement saying, quote, if you look at statistics regarding gun violence in the United States, you'll see the recent shooting is a clear cry for any thing at all to please, please be different. In Washington, lawmakers have reached a bipartisan agreement that the U.S. desperately needs tighter firearm restrictions or looser firearm restrictions or, honestly, whatever option just makes these things stop. Do that one. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, dial toll free to bring up anything you want at 855 450 free. That is the toll free number that allows you to bring up what you want. That's the point of Free Talk Live. That's why we call the show that. It's Ian here with you. And Mark. We have Skype as well. You may Skype in at username lrn.fm, but in order to do that, you need to send a quick contact request first. That'll be approved. Once it's approved, it'll be easy for you to call in. Uh, and talk to us on Skype, and then you'll sound better than you would if you were on the phone, which, of course, is always a good thing. We're going right back into your phone calls and thoughts. For those of you just tuning in, we have been discussing freedom of speech throughout the show tonight, specifically in regards to being on a college, not excuse me, not a college campus, but a high school campus. I can tell you there are problems with free speech on college campuses as well. I have encountered those issues as a non-student on a college campus. I've also encountered issues as a non-student on high school campuses. Well, all you want to, if you want to find out about freedom of speech issues when it comes to college campuses, all you really need to do is go to uh, fire.org, mm-hmm. F-I-R-E.org. And this is an organization that uh, fights for students' rights of free speech on college campuses. That's because they're constantly And they've always under- got something to talk about right. because colleges, they got a particular, it seems like in this country, they have a particular bend uh, to them as far as their politics. And if you disagree with it, then there's a big problem. Yeah, there's no shortage of uh, infringements upon people's free speech in colleges and even worse at government high school. That's sort of generally been what we've been discussing. But of course, you can bring up anything. We talked about some protesters and uh, Quakers, Jewish people, blocking traffic, corporal punishment. We've been all over the place here tonight. Let's go to Think Fish in Atlanta. You're on Free Talk Live. Think Fish. Hey, guys. Hey, How are you here. doing tonight? Good. Good. Go ahead with your thoughts. Um, first of all, uh, I have to agree with you, Ian. Uh, when people – we had a pro- well, problem. Uh, last week during the announcement of the verdict in Ferguson, we had a bunch of people on the downtown connector blocking traffic. Now, my feeling is mm. whether I agree with you or not, if you impede on me – I am less likely to be sympathetic to your cause, regardless of what it was. Yeah, that's human simply nature. Simply because, exactly, and and so you're not really accomplishing anything by doing that. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to edge, and I and every time I call, I harp on this: educating people, giving them the information they need. But to piss, I mean, to <laughs> aggravate them is not the way to go about it, you're going to end up hurt, shooting yourself in the foot, basically. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. There are more effective ways to get your message out to the public than blocking traffic. I agree with you that it is counter uh, to your goals to block traffic. If you want to reach people in traffic, you know, hold up creative signs, put on a silly outfit, 
you know, do something that's going to draw attention to uh, to you. I can tell you when I've been out uh, doing protests, uh, it, there was one time when I wore the V mask out there, uh, the V for Vendetta, the uh, Guy Fox Guy mask. Guy mask. And Guy who attempted to murder a bunch of people. Yeah, well, I don't support what the guy did, but uh, the V mask gets attention. And there were people who were driving by taking my picture. Normally, you don't get your picture taken when you're just some protester on the side of the road. People were stopping. They wanted to take pictures with me just because I had this V mask on. So for anybody that took a picture of me and then shared it on their Facebook or Twitter or something like that, that expanded my reach beyond what I had originally intended, right? I just wanted to stand exactly. there on the side you of the got road. your message out. Yeah, exactly. Hey, and, Think Fish, anything else you want to share? Actually, I got one one quick question. All right. Is there a problem with your studio cam tonight? I can't get it up. Oh, thanks for oh, the uh, technical advisory. Up. We yeah. will. Hit that, the that, reset that problem button. would be uh, overwork. Um, we don't. Have, we don't have a producer in the studio. It's just us. Well, no, actually, I turned the cam oh. on. I did turn the cam on tonight, but I think that sometimes things just go squirrely with it. So we'll just hit the reset button. It'll probably start working here in a little bit. Thank you, Think Fish. Appreciate that call. Let's go to Paul in New Jersey. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Paul. Yeah, to take umbrage with uh, one of your hosts, he was talking about the uh, civil rights uh, movement. And um, any person who's a true lover of freedom should detest uh, some of the results of the civil rights uh, movement. Um, like you what? Know, well, uh, basically what civil rights had done, it had federalized business and private property and denied the owners of their own establishments to allow uh, to choose whom they allow on their properties um, if you're a restaurateur or you own a nightclub you no longer have the freedom to restrict people based on race and so you created new federal crimes and you justified the establishment of more federal law enforcement and now it opened a whole new breed of lawyers, lawsuits, and legal entanglements on what was once a free people. Yeah, I would say that, that I would agree with you that uh, this is an area that should be left to uh, free people and free markets to deal with. Um, if there is a business in town that does not want to let uh, black people or gay people uh, do business there, I am highly unlikely to do business with that uh, business, and I'm likely to tell my friends I think that the social pressure is going to be the most effective thing, and the wasting everybody's time and energy in court and mm -hmm. giving a bunch of big fat paychecks to a bunch of lawyers who otherwise create nothing productive um, is is counterproductive to human freedom. I think that uh, you know that I would agree with you on that statement. You know, the, what you're you don't disagree with me. You're not taking umbrage with the host because the host agrees with you. What you're doing is is you're using this as an opportunity to uh, to, to jumpstart your own conversation, which is fine. It's free talk live. I'm just saying well we i don't, don't know if i agree completely with paul i mean paul might support uh discrimination against people because no of he their supports race. people's right go ahead paul what do you think um uh, well i i support the right of people to freely uh choose who discriminate and to discriminate against uh whom they wish to uh gather with and uh basically what i see and the overall trend is that uh i believe the United States was established by white men, uh, uh, basically for it to be ja basically a white nation. And if you see that in the Immigration Act, of the uh, Naturalization Act of 1790, our founders wanted the immigrants to be free white males of good character, free uh, whites of good see, character. See, I told you, Mark. You so called it. I'm sorry. Uh, see, you, Paul, you, you sound win. like a racist to me now. So Wait, would you so say— are you going to deny me my uh, speech now? Well, you, you, I, I can I deny you whatever you I want to. I noticed just stop saying free speech because this is a uh, this this is a business, and we get to <laughs> deny bigots if we want, right? So I just wanted uh, to make it clear that you so are a bigot. You the thoughts of our founders, which you seem to I don't to give a damn about worse. what those There's people thought. There's lots of bigots in history. That doesn't make it okay. Just because the founders owned uh, slaves doesn't mean they were right. Ironically, though, you basically use all the doctrines and defend First and Second Amendment rights, which these white racist founders bequeathed to you as white males. Well, and I don't think that they gave me my, my rights. Uh, when the, the general uh, uh, thing that I see as everybody being against, the general uh, narrative that everybody buys into, is that white males are not to ha be allowed to gather on their own 
nor have a country for themselves or those. You're not just people. a you're not just a racist. You're also bigoted against women too. Apparently, you're not uh, going to have much of a country. Our, by the way, our founders were uh, bigoted against women, as you say. They thought motherhood was more important than for women. Well, to you be, should go hang out uh, with some dead people then, Paul. I support Paul's and, and, right. To move someplace uh, where that you know these values can be encapsulated, um, that you well, should be able no to go to what's that? White people, white people have no country. Well, of why their don't you go start anymore. one? Go get together. There's oh, enough. Well, there's enough, enough intolerant well, people like you, Paul, that you could all go occupy some village somewhere. Somebody was moving and to like uh, I no, can't remember whether it was North, North Dakota, Dakota or yeah. Idaho. There's a white nationalist movement where people are going to one area. Yeah, there's like a town with six people in it or something, and some guy who's a and racist I'm sure moved we'll be there. Harry by civil rights lawyers. Well, that's not my fault. Will make it their job, and also by a multiculturalist to make sure they import immigrants from Asia, perhaps, and make sure they strategically locate them in white areas. I've we heard about enough from you. That. Thanks for the call, Paul. So that's the thing, Mark. You can't jump to conclusions right. about about what people are saying. You did not agree with the caller insofar that you don't agree with being a bigot. You did agree with him in that he should be free to be a bigot. So he should be free as a business owner, if he is one, uh, to discriminate against people. And so should you and I also be free to tell this guy to go pound sand. We're never going to go set foot inside his business. And we're going to let everybody know how much of a screwball he is. Yeah, I think you're going to do very poorly in your restaurant that doesn't allow black people or women or whatever the hell this guy isn't going to let in there. And I I'm, I'm happy. See, I want to know where the bigots are. Yeah, I do. Thank, thankfully, Paul went, um, jumped out and, and said it, but yeah, most please. won't. But hang it out from, uh, you know, right there on Front Street. Let us know that you're a bigot so we can not so we can avoid you. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. What is your goal? What do you want of this revolution that you just, speak of? you got to stir things up enough for the people will actually revolt in a big way. And what will that uh, result millions in? Millions of people in the street, you know, and the military guys ain't going to like So what? what is your out. goal? You don't really know, do you? You don't really know what well, you want besides it, chaos. Uh, a bloody revolution in the streets is You the want only a bloody way. revolution? This is why I don't want to associate with people like you. Thank you for the call. You're dangerous and crazy, in my opinion, if you're talking about bloody revolution. Violent revolution just results in more violence in the future because the people who were the most violent are the ones that rise to power in whatever new power structure is created after the revolution's all over and done with, after the blood has spilt. Whoopie doo, you've changed out one gang of criminals for another gang of thugs free talk live seven nights a week from 7 to 10 eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free to bring up what you want. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Hey, join us online over at freetalklive.com. Yeah, we do this radio show seven nights a week. Of course, the uh, website is open 24-7, freetalklive.com. Are there any websites that aren't open 24-7? Uh, really bad ones. <laughs> I'm going to have to shut this down according to the FCC at uh, midnight. <laughs> we'll play the national anthem and wow. we're out of here. Yeah, that really would be ridiculous. <laughs> it, it certainly would. It just shows how ridiculous it is. In the FCC is, The yeah. FCC. In a lot of cases, they do this because they don't want interference uh, with, uh, with licensed radio stations. But they do limit the licenses in many communities around the country unnecessarily. There's all oh, kinds yeah. of room on the band uh, for stations and they choose not to open that up. I can only assume in order to increase the value of the uh, stations that are in that marketplace. Mm. So, whatever. If you want a free pound of coffee, you can go get it at coffee.freetalklive.com. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. I am confident that this is among the best coffee you will ever taste in your life, and it is a free pound of it. So go get it. We will ship it to you. you got to pay for the shipping, um, but uh, we'll give you the free pound. Now, it's a subscription program, and you can cancel at any time. You want to get your free pound and go? Fine. But I want you to, to understand that if you continue to get to upgrade your coffee experience with BuzzBox Coffee that there at coffee.freetalklive.com, that we will get every single month a portion of the profits that we can then use to uh, give microloans through Kiva.org to poor people around the world. We've uh, given money to all kinds of people in all kinds of countries for all kinds of situations, whether they need a plow or, um, to plow fields or uh, fix it, fix their plow or sewing machines or uh, they're buying used appliances to f- repair and then sell in their community. Whatever the reason is, uh, we're helping them do it, giving them a hand up, not a handout, because they pay that money back. And then we give that money out to somebody else. That's what I love about Kiva.org. And you can get your coffee, upgrade your coffee experience, and help people around the world just by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's great. I get my coffee there, and you're going to love it. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Back to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got John in our very own Keene, New Hampshire, listening to WKBK. Hello, John. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. Go ahead with your thoughts. Well, I'm I'm trying to get the word out to uh, as many people as possible that there's a a group right now organizing to get the states of the United States of America to request a convention of states to amend, to propose amendments to the Constitution in order Mm -hmm. to limit the power of the federal government. How would that work exactly? Uh, Well, Well, the upper and lower houses of 34 states need to send a request to the uh, U.S. government asking for a convention. Mm -hmm. The uh, U.S. government would have to name, once that that 34 state limit is breached, uh, they'd have to name a place and a date of the convention, and the states would then have to decide how they would select and charge delegates to send to the key the Convention of States. So there's two ways to sort of get an amendment through. The one way is the the federal government initiating it. This is through the Senate and the House, and this Mm -hmm. is the way I guess every one of them has has, uh, happened up to this point. And you're talking about the other less, obviously less used uh, system, right? Just to be clear. That's correct. 
John, yeah, you're talking, talking about, about a constitutional United. convention, right? Like this would open up the entire constitution for changes, wouldn't it? Well, it would uh, It would allow this convention of states to propose amendments. No okay. amendment actually becomes part of the constitution until three-quarters of the states or 38 states okay. actually ratified them. Got it. Okay, so that's really important because we've talked about constitutional conventions in the past. And what's scary about the idea of a constitutional convention is is that, uh, you know, there's people have all kinds of different ideas of what a right is, right? For instance, some people will say that you have a right to medical care. Now, uh, those are people that subscribe to the, the notion of positive rights. I would contend that you have no right to anything you cannot initiate yourself. So um, you don't have the right to medical care because that means that you have to enslave someone someone to give you medical care. If you have the right, then you have the right to have it for free. But that's a popular idea, and maybe somebody would put forth an amendment like that to guarantee such a, a right as you've described it, the right, right to that's force like other people. That's like saying plantation owners have a right to have their cotton picked. So, I mean, isn't this opening up kind of a Pandora's box? What is it that you would propose uh, that you think is so important to, you know, you're saying some sort of restriction on the federal government. So what would you like to see come out of this convention? Well, three things. First, I'd like to see some limitation on the federal government's uh, ability to spend money in the absence of some declared war or national emergency that was uh, voted on by the majority of Congress. Well, I think that, like that, that might that might um, propose a, a dilemma because the U.S. dollar is based on debt. It is uh, written into existence by uh, these treasury bills and these sorts of things, uh, among other ways. But the, the federal government really can't pay off its debt, because what it does is it would take money out of circulation to do it, wouldn't it? No, I didn't actually talk about the debt. What I said was limit their, the amount they could spend. spend. Okay. So say, for example, uh, the government can't have a budget that proposes to spend more than, pick a number, 16, 17 percent of GDP. Okay. Okay. So now, who would be going to this convention? Would it be, would it be the representatives and senators or someone else from the state? No, it, it's it's difficult to imagine that a, a U.S. senator or U.S. representative would vote to limit their own power. Right, I don't think so, they would. Right, so the delegates from the states would, in essence, be chosen by the state legislatures, charged by the state legislatures with sort of objectives, and then sent to the convention of states. What are points two and three that you wanted to make? Uh, two would be term limits at the federal level. Uh, for not only the House and the Senate, but also for other uh, uh, federal offices. Right now, for example, the Supreme Court serves for life. That that could be open for discussion. And then finally, there are quite a few things that the federal government— Before you go on, on term limits, my concern there is is that um, I I feel like that's a revolving door, that politicians manage—the incumbents stay in place because of name recognition— and that that doesn't change even if they change their office. So, for instance, if uh, you know I serve my limit on House of Representatives, say, 10 years, then I'm just going to move on to Senate where my name recognition gets me that next position and I continue on. And so you still have the same problem of b- perpetuating bad politicians while um, limiting a good politician's ability to sort of stay in the House. Like Ron Paul. I just, I'm concerned with that, the, uh, that this is rearranging the deck chairs as opposed to actually getting anything done. I've heard a lot of people support it. I just, I don't know, doesn't seem like it's going to do anything to me. Washington's broken. Term limits isn't going to fix it. Right, and the third point you said was Washington's broken. And part of the reason Washington's broken today is they've got their fingers into too much of what is a matter for the citizens. Uh, They've used the Commerce Clause and the General Welfare Clause of the Constitution to, and misinterpreted those, and, and in essence expanded their Uh, reach well beyond what was intended. Uh, And so the third item would be to put the federal government back in the box to go back to the the things in the Constitution that said the federal government shall have these particular powers and everything else shall be reserved to the states. Make sure that that's well and clearly defined so that the federal government does indeed stay within its box. John, do you have uh, a website or something that you can plug to promote this? Absolutely. It's conventionofstates.com. Those are all one word, but if you you just Google Convention of States, you will find it up on the first page. John, thanks for the heads up tonight. I appreciate it. Good luck with your project. Personally, I'd rather focus on seceding the states. More coming up. It's Free Talk Live. 
This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years. Go to HarvestRight.com and find out how you can get your in-home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss here on this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. Skype in at username lrn.fm. And join us online and get in, get all the features for free on our website. Unlike those other talk show hosts that charge you for their sites, I think you'll find more for free at freetalklive.com than you'll find behind the paywalls of many of uh, the competitors in our business. So go and check it out for yourself, freetalklive.com. And Free Talk Live is brought to you by the 101 Reasons film. It is relatively new, just about a month old at this point, just, just under a month old. 
It was released for free online via YouTube. You can go to 101reasonsfilm.com. If you've heard us talking on the air here about the Free State Project, the idea of moving liberty-oriented people all to the same place, or as many of them as possible, to the same place. The idea is to get 20,000 freedom-oriented people who care about liberty and are willing to do something about it to come to New Hampshire and to get active. We've got over 1,600 people that are already here. Over 16,000 people have pledged to make that move. And once the Free State Project reaches 20,000 participants, then the move is officially triggered. Mark, you and I, we moved early. We moved back in 2006. Yeah, we've people been here are, a long time. People are moving every week to different parts of New Hampshire. They're, these are people who don't want to wait until 20,000. They've just decided, screw it, let's go, let's get started, because things are happening. They're very exciting that are happening up here in New Hampshire. The 101 Reasons film focuses on a number of those very exciting things, including the amazing community of activists that has gathered here and is doing so much to advance freedom here in New Hampshire. So go and uh, visit 101reasonsfilm.com as we go to Dave, who's in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Dave. Actually, the 101 Reasons film is exactly what I wanted to talk about, Dave. I, I, uh... I watched it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was really professionally done. Yeah, it's great. Um, uh, sorry, I think I must have accidentally left you on the speakerphone. Oh. But, uh, but the uh, can you hear me okay now? Yes, I hear you fine. Now I'm now I'm on the speakerphone. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> there were a couple of things I thought we could do that would actually get us more movers out of it, though. Um, I thought that it was. Uh, I felt like the Free State Project dot org URL was not really very prominent in the film. I just don't really remember seeing it anywhere. I mean, I'm sure it was there here and there, but it just, you, you got to be simple with people. You got to give them one simple little action item. And that action item from this film really should be going to freestateproject.org initially. And I just didn't get the sense that that was played up very much. It was almost like it was just like almost too much information um, a little bit too scatter shot, and I think it could be improved because I know you. I know you guys make you know improved edits of things that you do sometimes. Just you know, if you just were to add the freestateproject.org URL in the you know like a super at the bottom for the whole film or for a third of it or just mm. more often or prominent at the end, prominent at the beginning, that kind of thing. It was just missing that. Well, there's a lot of information. I mean, I agree with you there. The movie is is almost information overload. You couldn't possibly, I don't think, on one watch through really pick up everything that's going on. There's information flashing up on the screen. There's people's names. There's the, the actual content of what's in the movie. Um, I'd have to watch it again with an eye for that. Uh, you know, obviously, as one of the co-producers of the movie, I had the privilege of watching it before it was released to just kind of check it over and, you know, see if there were any last minute changes that that needed to be made. And that didn't strike me. But uh, then again, that doesn't mean that your critique is is inaccurate. I, I can't say for sure uh, if I recollect how often that URL came up. But uh, certainly the movie is generally about the Free State Project, and I, I would hope that comes through to a new audience. But it would be interesting to show it to somebody who doesn't know about the Free State Project and then inquire of them afterwards as to whether or not they were aware of the Free State Project after having watched a full-length you know, movie about the Free State Project. So it's an interesting yeah, critique. You have, to, you have to keep in mind that most people are going to watch just a few minutes. To, oh, well, not most, but many people will just see snippets of it or they'll watch it out of the corner of their eye and not paying that close attention. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, I mean, most most of these five minutes, if you were to watch any five minute segment of this film, I just don't think you would get a clear idea of what it was even telling, what it was even suggesting that you do. And the the whole beauty of our movement is that we have a simple action item, right? The first action item is to go to the URL. The second one eventually is to move to New Hampshire. It's so simple, but that simplicity was sort of lost a little bit in the film and going through this sort of complicated list of, of things. Otherwise, though, it was really good. Well, that's what the movie is supposed to do. It's supposed to go through the list. And, you know, the, the 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire is a list that is in text, text form available on freestateproject.org. And I imagine as you're reading through that, uh, that list also does not implore you to join the Free State Project as you're reading through the list. It's meant to sell you on the idea of moving to New Hampshire. And I, yeah, think I could care that, less if they even sign up, frankly. I'd prefer it. I, I guess not care less. I, I prefer it if they sign up, but I want them to move. I'm pretty sure that at the beginning and the end of that movie, Allie Havens, who is the, the female host 
of the film, not the narrator, but she's kind of the on-screen host. The narrator is Stephanie Murphy, who is a former Free Talk Live co-host. But I'm pretty sure Allie Havens does invite listeners or viewers, rather, to take action and, and join the Free State Project and, and share the movie. And I can understand what you're saying, Dave, that the movie won't necessarily be watched in a one-hour full-length increment. But that's certainly the intention of making an hour-long production is to you know to do that. The 101 Reasons film uh, YouTube page or the YouTube channel does have shorter productions on it. It does have three to five minute long shorts that can also be shared out for the purpose of you know people with a lack of an attention span, uh, which obviously is very important in this YouTube world. But I think that for what they were trying to do, which was turn the 101 Reasons text list into a persuasive video presentation, I think they nailed it. But, you know, your critique is certainly, uh, you know, it's, it's something to consider for the future. Anything else you want to throw out there? Well, the thing that brought me into the Free State Project was just watching Fox News Channel one day out of the corner of my eye, and Walter Williams was blabbering about something, and then uh, I realized he was talking about secession, and I said, that's so crazy. And then at the bottom, there was this URL, and it said freestateproject.org. And within a couple of days, I had looked at that website, and right after that, I joined. And thank goodness you did, because uh, you created the Ridley Report and your website is RidleyReport.com. You've been here for, when did you get here? Was it 04, 03? 04. 04. So you've been here for a decade now and have been reporting for years on the ground as sort of a one-man journalism, video journalism operation. Uh, it's just, you've done amazing work, and there are a lot of people who cite Dave Ridley and RidleyReport.com as their reason for making the move up here. So thank you for your service, Dave, and thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to 101reasonsfilm.com. There's a link right there on the front page of the website that'll take you to the YouTube channel with the video. It's got over 17,000 views and has been out. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that's very good. For an hour-long movie... I think seventeen thousand in the first couple weeks is is pretty darn. It doesn't good. mean they've watched the whole thing. By it doesn't any mean that you're right about that. Uh, but you know, things that are shorter length tend to get more views on YouTube. So for you know, for a hour long movie to get that many right. views, I think. If I good. see the time frame on something as an hour long, the likelihood of you're me watching that is low. Yeah, this is obviously something that is not intended for general audiences. This is something that's intended to be shown to people who appreciate the ideas of freedom. If you love the state and you love uh, controlling others, you're not going to like the 101 Reasons We have film. 49 other states for you. Yeah, so uh, if you do love freedom and you've been wondering, let's say you know, you're know you frustrated with how things are going in if your you state. If you love freedom, you're frustrated. Probably true. Uh, if you love freedom, odds are good wherever you live, people who love freedom are not getting elected. Uh, they're not, you know, having any sort of success politically. In this state, it's the one of 49 states and probably the one place, in, in, and I'd say the one place in the world where a liberty-oriented group rates every single law that is proposed, mm -hmm. hands out a piece of paper to every single one of the legis well, not every single one, the legislators that they can hand them out to, there's 400 in New Hampshire, and then rates those legislatures every single year based on a Liberty Report card. That's not Incredible. happening in your state because it's not happening in any state except for New Hampshire. Because in New Hampshire, we have enough activists already to facilitate that level of activism. That an insane, I mean, that's a lot of reading of legislation. you got to have a lot of activists to do that. Right. And we've got it here already without even the beginnings, uh, without the official start to the Free State Project move. That has yet to trigger. And we could use you. So go to freestateproject.org or go to 101reasonsfilm.com to learn more about what's happening here. There's more coming up on Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. 
So you've been listening to pharmacist Ben and Dr. Wallach for a long time now, and you're wondering if Longevity really works. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm an employee at GCN, and I've been using Longevity products for over two years now. Call me today to hear my story at 612-695-5982. You too can lose weight, experience increased energy, and feel better about yourself and the future of your family. Call today, 612-695-5982. That's 612-695-5982. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here on this live Saturday edition. Hey, if you don't get in tonight, no big deal. We do it uh, Sunday night as well. This is the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. We do it seven nights a week live here from 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time. And with you tonight, it's Ian and Mark. Don't forget to join us online over at freetalklive.com, where you may enjoy all manner of different features. It's all completely free, but of course, if you want to help support what we're doing, then you can become an amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. And it's five bucks a month. What we do is we take that five bucks in, we combine it with other people's five bucks, or ten or twenty. Some people spend more than five, but five is what we're asking for. And then uh, we combine it together and we use that money to promote Free Talk Live, to advertise and to market the show and get on more radio stations. We've got over 150, close to 160 radio stations today. We could have more than that. We could have hundreds more. It just you know takes money and time and effort to make that happen. So you can help us with that. And you get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only Facebook group, and more. Go to amp.freetalklive.com to get started. It helps us reach out to radio stations. It helps us do internet advertising do uh, satellite expansion around the globe. There's a lot that we can do with your five bucks a month. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. Please, it really makes a big difference when you do it. Don't think for a moment that you can count on other people to do it. You've got to step up if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live. You like hearing the message of liberty airing on over 150 radio stations coast to coast. You want that number to be 300? Well, please, 
Step up, become an amplifier. Makes a big difference for us when you do. Thank you in advance. And thank you to everybody who has amped the show or currently is. Amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. As we go to Smith in Texas on Skype. Smith, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. I love the show. This is the first time calling. Welcome, sir. Um, I was listening. I don't get to listen live most of the time. I have to listen to the like the podcast. And the other uh, night, you guys were talking about the uh, Satanic Temple in Florida and their distribution of, or no, I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was about the coloring books and stuff, or it uh, might have been about that. No, there were a couple cases. So there was one with the coloring books in Florida where they wanted to have their religious propaganda next to Christian propaganda that had been allowed into a government school. That wasn't the case we were discussing this week. Uh, the one that was this week was the rotunda in Florida's capital where during the holiday season there are Christmas displays that have been allowed in the past, as well as Pastafarian atheist displays, and now the Satanists would like to add a display to that, and the court ruled that they need to be allowed to add their display. Right, okay, yeah, I knew it was something along those lines. Um, but whenever you guys were talking about it, I thought it was uh, uh, interesting. You were talking about how most Satanists are just, uh, or somebody had said, I don't remember who it was, but most Satanists are just trolling and uh, I, I wanted to kind of correct that. I'm not really, like, I'm not offended. I'm not a Satanist myself, but I, I empathize with them because it's a, it's a philosophy. It's not just a religion, or it's not really a religion in the sense that Christianity is a religion. Agreed. You know, you're not really worshiping anything um, except for the self. But uh, it's Isn't also that the not same just, thing as the secular humanists? I mean, they, there's there, there's a term humanists. I mean, they, they, these people get together. They have little meetings and stuff. And what's the difference between that philosophy and the the Levian, uh Satanists? Well, I would say that with not secular much. humanists, it's it's more of an altruistic thing. The secular humanism, you know, uh, Satanism Satanism is more of a selfish thing. It's more objectivist. Hmm. Uh, it's more. Then why not go to the objectivist meeting? <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, it's because Satan in Satanism is seen as like a symbol of rebellion, a symbol of annoyance, doing whatever is good for yourself. It's and because not. Satan is a troll. I mean, you know, essentially to, to, to align yourself with this idea, this ridiculous concept created by other men in these other religions is just simply designed to upset those people. And it does. It does. You know, they're they're successful in that. They yeah, the I definitely, I definitely agree that there are a lot of people that do it just to to upset people. I think that there's a phase that a lot of kids go through. You know, when they're a teenager, it's it's cool to be into that. Um, but I think that they're they're actually good things. I'm an objectivist myself, and that, I think there are actually good things about um, about the movement. And I think that it really does mean a lot to some people. Somebody had also said in that in that show that you know. It, doesn't mean something to people like like Christianity does. And in, in the case of this monument or display going up in the, the rotunda, I think that is purely trolling. But um, well, I say I good on them. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I I'm find it I find it amusing. I I'm amused by their <laughs> antics and their lawsuits, and I, I support their right to do all of these things. I yeah, think. but I can't take that seriously. I I just you know I mean sorry. No, yeah. Uh, it it no, sounds yes, like no, no, no. <laughs> you, you've got to be crazy or a troll in order to be involved in this. And, you know, but it's serious business, Mark. This is free speech. This is I'm not equal claiming time. it's not I'm, I'm <laughs> not claiming it's not free speech and I'm not claiming I don't support their quote unquote right to bother people. I mean, the same way I support this flying spaghetti monster religion, putting up a sculpture of a you know, their God, of a, a thing of spaghetti and meatballs. Plate of noodles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I support the uh, the Satanists. But no, you will never get me to take them seriously. No, I don't think they're serious. No, I don't take them seriously. Yes, it's a bunch of trolling. Or they're nuts. I'll give you that. Okay, maybe maybe I'm nuts. I don't know. You're not um, nuts. I You're have... an objectivist. <laughs> no. Maybe I have one more thing I'd like to talk to you guys about, if you don't mind if I have time. Go ahead, quick. A uh, quick thing. I, um, I was debating a socialist the other day and talking about the non-aggression principle and the socialist told me that owning property is a violation of the non-aggression principle because you have to use aggression to defend it yeah. and that uh, all property should be 
I, I didn't quite understand what the point was that they were trying to get to, but I didn't really have a way to argue. I didn't. I don't either. I wanted to get you Does guys. Does the socialist on have that. a car? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. then just take the car. Just pee on it. <laughs> just take a poop on its uh, hood, and then there shouldn't be a problem. They shouldn't be upset about uh, it. Yes. Right. It's it's my property too. So yes, there <laughs> is no rebuttal. Um, you know, the ideas of liberty come down to, as we understand them here on this show, and pretty much everybody anywhere, uh, come down to the idea of property rights. If we can't agree that humans can possess property, then we can't agree on anything else because it, 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 Western civilization is plan. Uh, you know, most civilizations. There are probably a few that don't understand property in any remote sense the same way that we do, but most of them have been essentially, uh, you know, destroyed throughout history. And so, if there is no, if there's no foundation, there's no, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. These guys are bad prospects. But then I think the only rebuttal there is uh, pooping on their car hood. Okay, well, I will go do that, and I will refer them back to you when they get angry. Yeah, Thanks, no problem. Smith. I appreciate, well, they shouldn't get angry. That's the thing. If they really don't believe in property, they should not get angry about it at all, and I thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing no, from thanks. you. Let's go to Cliff in Pennsylvania. Cliff, you're on Free Talk Live. Cliff, listening to WEEO. Are you with us? Cliff going yes, once. Yes, I'm here. Hey, Cliff, um, go ahead. How, this is the first I heard your program. I listen oh, you're shocked. Well, I was kind of shocked to hear the comments about corporal punishment. I'm 47 years old. I'm 42. For Congratulations. Anybody, well, thank you. Uh, well, for anybody to think for one reason that corporal punishment is not effective, look at our kids today. No, I don't think there anybody no, here said that, there, uh, that it was not effective. I think that uh, yeah. the studies have shown that it is probably less effective in the long term than other alternatives to uh, to, to punish uh, al alternatives to the parents have. But, but I would not claim that it's not effective. But that's a liberal spin. Let's face I don't, it. I, look, I don't, I'm not interested in an ad hominem here. A liberal spin, that's nothing. There's They got science uh, here that says that timeouts and other things are effective. I, I, I could spin it around the other way, too, and say, why is our prison school with young inmates now? Because you have undisciplined kids, which kids think today they're their they parents. They spank here. all over the world, and they don't have nearly as many people in prison. So that uh, that destroys your the argument. Prisons uh, the prisons are full of people because of the war. drug war. Right. No, 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 no. You are correct. They spank all over the world, but only in this country can you get penalized for it as a parent. Bull so crap. Don't you don't know anything prison. about Europe, then, because in Europe, there's all kinds of places where you will your butt will go to jail for spanking your children. The reason why prisons there's are full is because of the war on drugs and other victimless crimes. Right, it's a completely why. unfounded claim. Next. Hey, well, no, 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 listen. The prisons are full for a lot of reasons because there's no parents involved. Right. But I it doesn't have anything to do with son. spanking. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Listen to me. My son is 14 years old, and when he gets up in your face you're like he's a grown man, I'm supposed he to is. take it? And that's kids today because there is no punishment. You can say whatever you want. Our prisoners are full, not because of the war on drugs. They don't keep blaming <laughs> Reagan for shit that happened 30 years ago. How it's many years have you spent in prison? Today. I've never spent any. You know why? Because I got my ass whooped. Well, I got, well, I got <laughs> wait a second. I got spanked and I went to prison. You have no well, basis for what you say. I'm fine. If you want to duel your time. son, if your son goes on, you know, head to head with you, that's fine. But don't be surprised if sometime he sneaks up behind you and hits you in the back of the head with a board. I mean, you're just talking about violence. All right. We're out of time for tonight. Thanks, Cliff, for your call. Give us another call sometime. Be happy to talk about that further. But we are fresh out of it for the tonight. You can join us tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Enjoy your weekend. Free talk on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp, is uh, because... I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, December 6th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.31 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,192 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $377. Antiwar.com reports struggling to defend the nuclear negotiation extension with Iran to congressional opponents who did not like the talks to begin with. The Obama administration is claiming major new concessions were made by Iran to see talks continue. The Associated Press says it has secret documents on the terms for the next seven months of talks and that it includes, among other things, Iran agreeing to snap inspections by the IAEA and to convert much of its remaining uranium to fuel. The conversion includes the last 35 kilograms of more highly enriched uranium oxide, which Iran was producing for fuel rods for the Tehran Research Reactor. They've agreed to finish the conversion into fuel rods to eliminate Western claims that they could enrich further. The administration has been presenting the document to congressional officials in an attempt to convince them to hold off on new sanctions, which would violate the agreement and would derail the talks. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports protesters in New York and other cities staged a third night of rallies on Friday denouncing use of deadly force by police against minorities even as prosecutors said they would consider charges against an officer in the fatal shooting of an unarmed man in November. The slaying of Akai Gurley gunned down in a dimly lit stairwell in the New York borough of Brooklyn was the latest in a string of lethal police actions feeding U.S. public outrage over what many perceive as racially based violence by law enforcement. This week's wave of angry but largely peaceful protest began Wednesday when a New York grand jury declined to bring charges against police officer Daniel Pantaleo in the chokehold death of Eric Garner, 